What's up, lifers? What's up, lifers? What's up, lifers? It's Dave Life. It's Dave Life. You're watching Dave Life After Dark, episode number 250. Dave Life After Dark, episode number 250. Heroes and villains. Angel Reese. Heroes and villains. Angel Reese. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. So I want to say thank you. I really appreciate that. Let's start this off like we always do the right way. Heavenly Father, have your way, Lord. I pray that you would speak to your people, Lord. I pray that you would enlighten us, entertain us, and inform us, Lord. Father, I pray less of me and more of you. I pray that you would have your way. I pray that we'd have a great conversation, Lord. Forgive us for all of our sins that we've committed, both by commission and omission, charges to our heads and not our hearts. Wash us in the sun, in the blood of thy son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for a wonderful Easter. Help us have a wonderful weekend. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. <laughs> Ooh, what's up, y'all? What's up, lifers? What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody's good. Man, we got some special people in the building tonight trying to get everything set up. Hope you had a wonderful week again. This is Dave Life After Dark, episode number 250. Dave Life After Dark, episode 250. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. If you can hear me, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Everybody in the green room, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. All right, cool. I got I got two thumbs up and a booty clap. Somebody, somebody. Okay, I see a thumbs up. Okay, somebody put their booty in the screen. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to get this going. Um, I appreciate everybody for joining. If you want to support Dave Life After Dark and Dave Life TV, make sure um, you hit us on Cash App at dollar sign Dave Life TV. Send some tips for our hosts. I will distribute them accordingly. And you can hit us on Venmo at Dave Life. Uh, and send us a little coffee money, a little hookah money, stuff like that. Hey, if you're on YouTube, I appreciate you. Make sure you, you follow and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, come on over to the tube. If you're on Instagram, I know you can hear the show, but you can't see the show. You got to come on over to YouTube if you're on Instagram. Go to YouTube forward slash Dave Life TV or go to YouTube and put in Dave Life TV, all one word, and you can find us. Man, we are live. We are in the building. I got some special people in the building today, and I want to make sure I bring them up. Let me see. Come on up to the stage. Um, I see somebody in the green room. First person that made it to the green room. Um, uh oh, she disappeared. Oh, I see her. No, there she go. I see her. Okay, she's prepared. She's always prepared. She helps do the research on the show. Um, she uh is Kara rhymes with Sarah. Where you at, Kara? Come on up to the stage. My headphones oh, just went out. Look at that. Oh. They just went out. How are you? <laughs> that was the wrong uh, inch. There you go. Hey, Kara, how you been? You been good? I am fantastic. How are you doing? Yes. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I cannot complain. Um, it's been a good week, and I uh, hope you had a good Easter. Hope you had a happy Easter and everything. I did. I did. How about you? Okay, cool. It was good. It was good. Um, got a lot of stuff uh, done, planning and stuff for the wedding. Um, so okay. everybody that's looking, uh, you should have your save the dates. Your save the date just went, went out. You were right. It didn't go out. So I made sure it went out this time. I appreciate right. it. Cool. Um, we're going to talk about uh, Angel Reese, hero or villain. So we're going to get into that in a second. I see uh, one of my homeboys in the building. Um, EJ the Barber, you ready to come on to the stage? S, come on to the stage, my man. S, what's, what's going up, S? on? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? How you doing, young lady? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Thank you for asking. I'm great. I'm great. You got the smile going. Dave got the Chicago Bull hat going. Well, oh, yeah. Are. Matter of fact, I'm glad you said that. Let me, because look, I normally do these. Let me. Oh, there you go. Now I'm back. Okay. I feel like I'm yep. ready to host now. <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to have my, my Barbie gear. Okay, I bar see it. Buy you bar hey, buy you Barbie. Buy you okay. Barbie. Okay. Okay. The buy you Barbie. I ain't mad at I that. Uh, from the championship right. team, Kateri Poole. So, okay. Okay. Repping, repping hard today. Nice. All right. If, in, full, stuff, in full force. Mm -hmm. In full force. Um, I got a few more people I'm gonna bring on to the stage. I see, um, I see someone that's in the building. She's a bartender. She's a femme fatale, and she's a former 
podcast. I can't even say former podcast host. She's still a podcast host. We're going to bring her to the stage. Y'all know her, man. It's Michelle F. What's up, Michelle? Hi. How's everybody Hello. doing? Oh, all is well. All is well. <laughs> Michelle, yeah. I'm so glad you're back because uh, last week, we had some technical difficulties with the sound, and I'm glad we got it worked I know. Out. I don't know what the hell happened. I tried putting my professional gear on, and it just didn't work. But hopefully these will cover <laughs> today. No, no, it works. You it sound, works. You sound sometimes, good. Yeah, lesser is, is greater mm-hmm. sometimes. Lesser is greater. Um, yeah. Hey, you know, hey, Kara, I don't know. I don't know, Kara, but everything is super. It's, it's like perfect. The audio visual. Yeah. All right, I, I had my headphones died on me, but I appreciate. It. I'm trying to do. You, you in the house? You in the house? Hey, I see somebody <laughs> else that's um one of my homeboys. He's prepared to go. Uh, he looks like he's uh studying the gospel right now. Um, I'm not <laughs> sure. Uh, he <laughs> he's fly like a dove, come from up above. He's rapping on the mic, and you can call him Tony Love. What's up, Tony Love? <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, you know, that was you know a good that. one. Come Did on. You- did you Come on, no, that's that's Run DMC. That's Run DMC. That's Run DMC. That ain't Dave. That's Run DMC. That was real good. Hey, I appreciate being in the house, man. I know it's been a few weeks. Good to catch up. What's up, y'all? Esteban, I'm gonna come get me a haircut one day, man. The Bishop Basie Stanks cut. Come on, man. Come on in. Let me get you right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make you famous, right, man. Judgment Day is coming. <laughs> 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 no doubt, no doubt. You see, as got me. Well, you know, as we're not gonna talk because I know you're gonna say something. You his barber and he wears a hat. That got to be disrespectful. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He got to tell the <laughs> truth now. No, 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 no. Tell the truth. As, yeah. as, I, I haven't seen S in over a month because I moved oh, a, a little ways from LA, so I've been going okay. somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, he, he on it. Oh, you cheating on him? You got but, another barber? Is what you're saying? There it is. I'm there cheating, it is. I'm Talk to no him. S. I'm gonna tell Talk you. Tell I'm, I'm cheating no S. But I'm ah. using distance. No. Distance. No is, diddy. Is, is, no diddy. No, no diddy. No diddy. No, hey, please, no diddy. And, yes. And, but, and, and yeah, the, new chick, the new chick no got you wearing a hat in these streets. Okay. Well, yeah, well, yeah. is here's here's the situation. I just decided I want to bust a hat today, man. That's, I don't know. The haircut might not be right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> now, now I'm gonna take the hat off, and the haircut won't look right because the hat didn't jacked up the yeah the curls. Hey, so, hey, I don't know. I, I don't tell you. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Hey, I ain't mean, right. <laughs> uh, shout out to hey, your new barber. Hey, he, he's shout, probably taking care of you. Shout out to my guy. new barber. Right. Shout out to my new. Look at this. Yes, Dave, look at this, how man. much is a haircut in in the California? Uh, a lot. <laughs> huh? Ask Estevan. Ask Estevan. Estevan. How much you charge for a haircut? Forty-five cut and shaves. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not bad. No, you've been, no, been charging me a little bit more. You've been well. Charged. That's because you get you, you get a little bit more done. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Okay. You, no, yeah, and, you probably extra for yeah. the chest hair, don't you? No, no, I, I don't well, do that. No, I don't no, do that. No, no, I don't, I don't no, do that. no, 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 no. Sometimes mm-hmm. I get my beard lined up and colored, but but I also I always get my hair washed out. So you got to add a little yeah. more on for me. I get my hair so, washed so, out. So 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 the wash is the wash is where the extra come in. That's another fifteen. Yeah. yeah. He said his new barber braid hair too. No, no, I, that's that's him. That's him. That was I don't braid. Hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I, I don't. Yeah, look, you know. I, Tony's been gone hey, a few weeks and he come to Tony, Star Trek. Tony, we 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 got the ladies waiting, y'all. I got a lady, I got a lady waiting, and I got a brother waiting. But the brother may have to wait because he's not a regular. He is a lifer from back in the day, but you know he ain't been around in two years, so I might have to make him wait a little bit. But I got to bring up uh, the woman that we call that girl. Come on, Sophie. Come on to the building, that girl, Sophie. Who's oh, that girl? Hey, hey. Unmute us, Sophie. You got us on mute. Unmute. You got to do the intro again. Oh, I got to do the intro again. Oh, be- okay. Hold on. <laughs> Voice on. Hold on. Hey, y'all. I got somebody special. But you know what? We we actually going to cut that out of the, the final product. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got somebody in the building, man. We call her that girl. She's a grown woman, but we call her that girl. It's my home girl and yours. That girl. Sophie. Come on up, Sophie. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Hello, everyone. Hi, I get my high voice on. Oh, damn. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, What's up? What's going on you, sir? I'm mirroring my camera because I feel like I'm looking in another direction, but I'm doing very well. 
Okay. Uh oh, somebody said YouTube Live is not working. Oh, no. yeah, it is. Oh. Hold on now. Oh no. Well, there we go. Hold on now. I do somebody somebody with an extra uh? I'm about to go to YouTube Live right now. Should we we checking it. Should we just cancel? No, we ain't canceling. No. So what he said, cancel. Can't cancel. Hmm. We're not canceling the villain. Oh, it's li we live. We live, live. Mm -hmm. Live. Mm. No, we definitely live. Let me turn this uh, on. No. We definitely live. Um, you know what, y'all? Hey, I appreciate all y'all for joining. I do have. Um, where is he? Is he here? He left. He got to come back. All right, maybe he maybe he'll come back. All right. Um, you know, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're talking about. Um, we're talking about something that's that's good, something that's important, um, and it's kind of disguised in the title here. The title is um, Heroes and Villains. This is a new series. I don't know if you guys realize, but the last couple episodes was on relationships. That was on relationships. So that was a series on relationships. Now we're starting a new series entitled Heroes and Villains. Uh, and the first person we're going to talk about is Angel Reese. Heroes and Villains. And we're discussing Angel Reese. Does everybody, does anybody not know who Angel Reese is? Or you weren't familiar with them that much? Me. Or, or. <laughs> I had no idea. Or you don't watch <laughs> basketball. Because that's right. I like basketball. I don't watch women basketball. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's pretty common. Okay. What? Well, y'all don't support? Ooh, wow. That's okay. Common. Okay. Okay. <laughs> No, I just don't have time for sports at all. You like, I don't that. really watch. I go to a bar, and then if they have something, I'm like, okay, cool. But I don't dedicate time to You, you and a lot of other people don't watch. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And so um, They college at that, too. A lot of layers to it. College and women. So. That's it. All right, hold on. You know yeah. what, y'all? Something's happening with my... Hold on. I got to hit a button. Y'all talk amongst yourselves for a second because, in fact, let me do this. Uh, Kara, you know someone from the national championship team, um, and you know a little bit about LSU. Yes, I know you 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 uh, play ball, so I know you know about ball. Um, I'm also, gonna, um, I, I, I met Angel Reese before, and I got a great perspective on women's basketball and where they're going with it and what's going on with it. I have a different uh, – uh -huh, yeah, sure. I got something to say. Yeah, I got something to say. I, I mean – I mean, she's. A, I thought she was a really nice person, you know. Where is your? I still think she is. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. I mean, yeah, exactly. I still think she is. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I met her. I was on set with her with uh, her and Anthony, Anthony Carl Towns uh, for uh, it, what's that? Uh, Starry uh, commercial they had um last year, mm -hmm. and I got a chance to um talk with her for a minute. She seems like a great person, you know, or a nice person. As I say, I don't know farther than what we talked about there, but you know, okay, it was brief. So you. So you're saying you're saying that she's she's a nice person. So when we get into hero or villain, you're kind of saying she's not a villain. Well, I, 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 I didn't know. I thought we were just backstage. So okay. Um. Well, my thing is, you know, she talks her talk. You know, and when you talk your talk, see the thing about about ba girls basketball and, or basketball period. You know, they they want to. You know, the girls want to be. You know, looked at the same way the guys are looked at. And they want to, you know, be be judged in the same, you know, in, in, in the same atmosphere. And it's like, so they want to do some of the same thing. They say, well, if it was a man talking trash, they wouldn't be saying nothing. Yeah, we'd be saying some, if, it, if it was a man talking trash. We'd be like, OK, well, you got to back that up. And when you don't back that up, OK, now here comes the here comes the the, the, the pushback. I don't agree with the, the whole uh, the whole death threat shit that excuse my language uh, stuff. I don't agree with that. That's that's foul. But and there's no excuse. That's the fandom, the fanatic. Uh, uh, you, you get that more in college sports than any other sport, or you actually get that in soccer. You know, uh, where they're so so fanatical about their team that if you say something against them, you said something personally against them, and they take it a certain way and they go real hard. And and but I don't think it should ever get to a point where. Well, we're making death threats at, at these uh, people because they're just 
it just it does it's not that serious. It's not it's not that heavy. But on the line of her talking trash, and when she talks her trash, and she says, "I'm unapologetically, I'm unapologetically me." Okay, with that comes is people to push when when you don't win, people are gonna say something. People are gonna gonna, gonna do what they, they, they do. They gonna they gonna talk their trash back at you, and you have to you have to take that. That's the the hero villain part. Uh, the the thing that you know they they on her. She's crying this and that. You don't know how much these, how much they, these people put into that. You know when you put so much into something and you come up short. Your emotions about about what you just got through doing is heavy, you know. So she, after she's got through losing the game, they put a mic in her face, and now they're asking her questions, and she poured her soul out on that mic, and her feelings, you know, her, her emotions ran. I've been in that situation where after you know a game, I sat and cried, you know, because we lost. It was my last game in high school, and then I remember my last game in college. You know, shit, I I, I didn't smoke weed all through college, and one of my uh, one of the dudes on campus was like, "Man, come on, smoke weed. We smoke weed." And I was like, "Dog, after our last game, I smoked." After the last game, as soon as we got back to school, I went straight to his apartment. Like, hey, man, roll this shit up. I, I need to depress, compress. I, I, I need, I need to let it out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. I don't know where it's going. Happen next. I'm, woo, a woo side moment. So mm. I understand. I understand all the, the emotions that go with that. But the hero villain part, hey, when you talk that trash and you want to be, you know, and, and like I said, when they talk, when the men talk, you know, it's like LeBron talking his trash, and when or or, or uh, Dylan Brooks was talking his trash to LeBron, everybody was like, "Well, who is he to talk to LeBron?" Well, he's a basketball player competing for the same thing LeBron is. He came up short, and not and, and even before they were like, "Man, you can't be talking trash to LeBron." And yeah, you can. You competing for it. Mm-hmm. You come up short. Mm-hmm. Ah, now we can talk. Now, now you didn't back it up. Now we can talk back. So you brought up some some good points about Angel Reese. Uh, and while I prepare some of the videos, uh, anyone else have an impression? Well, first of all, Mr. Al Tariq, what's up, Al? Hey, 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 hey what's up, what's dog? Up, Al? Hey, Welcome to the stage, man. Thank you, thank you. My man slid in. I see you, Al. Welcome to the stage. Um, who who else can share an anecdote about um, Angel? So I don't Karen. know Angel personally, um, but it's clear to me that the team that played this year is not the same team. And they're missing one of their championship players. I can't say why. Um, Kateri Poole was an integral part of the team last year. She definitely made waves. But in general, the cohesiveness of the team was not there this year. And I'm not saying that just because they lost. So I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if it's the program. Um, they just they just were not the same team. Mm. Okay. Mm. So they you can the tell, like, team. the cohesiveness, the teamwork, the fight, it just wasn't there. And as far as Angel crying, um, I agree with S. Like, when it's your last game, win or lose, like, it's a lot of emotions. Like, you know, when you're an athlete and you have a, a, a playing family, good, bad, or indifferent, that last game hits you in a different way. Like, I played ball. I played yeah. soccer. Like, those, that's your crew. You're moving on to a completely different stage, and you don't really know what the future is going to look like. And especially mm-hmm. in women's basketball, like, I can imagine she could be in a position where she's making less money as a pro than mm-hmm. she was as a championship player for LSU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. All right, I'm gonna try to add strong um, every uh-oh. single time. And I just try to have great teammates. I have a great support system. I got my hometown. I got my family that stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just ign- try to ignore and I just try to stand strong. Like I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times death threats i've been sexualized i've been threatened i've been so many things and i've stood strong every single time and i just try to stand strong for my teammates because i don't want them to see me down and like not be there for them so i just want to always just know like i'm still a human like all this has happened since i won the national championship and i said the other day i haven't had peace since then and it sucks, and but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything, and I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me, and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you no, know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you, but 
keep being who you are, keep waking up every day, keep mo being motivated, staying who you are, staying 10 toes, don't back down, and just be confident. Yeah, I'm going to let that play uh, one more time because we missed the beginning. But um, this is after she lost uh, the championship. And uh, we're going to be doing this all night. We're going to play a clip, uh, have a little reaction, play a clip, have a little reaction. All right, so and uh, let me see. Go on mute for me. I hear someone. I hear someone clicking around. I'm gonna put put y'all on mute. Okay. All right. Cool. Play this again. I don't really get to stand up for myself. I mean, I have great teammates. I have a great support system. I got my hometown. I got my family that stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore and I just try to stand strong. Like I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and like not be there for them. So. I just want to always just know, like, I'm still a human. Like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you no, know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But... Keep being who you are. Keep waking up every day. Keep mo being motivated. Staying who you are. Staying ten toes. Don't back down. And just be confident. All right. Uh, let's let's get a reaction from the gallery. Um, in fact, I'm gonna start off with um, with someone that doesn't really watch uh, college basketball like that. Um, Michelle, Michelle, I know that you weren't <laughs> super familiar with LSU super familiar with Angel Reese or super familiar with the national championship. But yeah. when you see a clip, when you see a clip like that, um, what, you know, how, how does that, how does that make you feel just, just watching her after this is after she lost the championship? I mean, I, I, I think that sucks that somebody has to, somebody like her public, obviously uh, very talented and famous has to cry and spill all her emotions because of crappy stuff that has happened to her. But I would like to, I mean, before I state any judgments, I would like to know what is the actual context and why she got threatened. Why, what is provoking that behavior? Exactly. Great, so. great segue. Mm -hmm. That is a great segue. Mm -hmm. All right. I have another clip. Uh, anyone else before I play the clip, uh, let's go with Sophie. Sophie, um, how how did that make you feel um just seeing you know angel reese after she lost the championship game uh pour out her emotions in that in that way i thought that's what she's supposed to do you know you're supposed to just give your real authentic um feeling um there's a couple times where you have players go on and they're like hey we did a good time we, we did a, the best that we can do we weren't, we didn't meet our mark, you know, all right, thank you, bye. They say they don't like that. So when you go out and you really speak, then there's always commentary about, you know, what you say when you're just being yourself. So I feel like she did what she was supposed to do and she backed it up by saying, I'm gonna be authentic. So I feel like yeah, that's what she's experiencing. She wants to share. When you guys put a mic in her face right after she lost, you're gonna get the real, so. Mm -hmm. I agree with her. Just say how you feel and let it be what it is. And yeah. Anybody, also, anybody also, else? Let me say let me say something real. And I don't want to sound sexist when I say that, but it is the difference between men and women. Uh the difference uh uh with a man, he might have said he might have cut somebody out. He might have said some, you know, he, he might just his emotions might have been a little bit different. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he you know, saying where women. You know, you guys are a little bit more emotional, and you, and, and you guys tend, to, you, you guys might you show it a little more, and she and she cried a little bit on camera. Where a man, he like, man, I don't want to hear that shit, and, and you know, say he, he he he's a little. He, that's not how you supposed to answer that question, but he's mad, and and, and walked off, or get up and, and and walks out the um 
the uh, gets off the podium because he's mad about you know the question they just asked him and he just lost the game. You know they asked him why, why didn't he call a timeout, man? What I just told you, I don't know why we didn't call a timeout. Mm-hmm. You know, so the emotions are running really high, and I, I don't, you know, I, the the crying part is I don't, I don't think I don't think the, the media and the fans should should really harp on that because that's just too di- that's just different between men and women and individuals like that, you know. Mm-hmm. That's just my take on it. I, you know, somebody, if I'm if I'm wrong, let me know I'm wrong. But I, that's just my take on that. Part. No, no, you're right, S. And also with that, it's a competitive nature. When you have a strong nature, yes. strong will yes. nature in in competition, and yeah. you come up short, yeah, your emotions are going to run high. Also, you know, she she knew that that was her last college game ever. So. Mm-hmm. Also, her 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 college ball days are over, never to return. So yeah, there's a lot of emotions, and that's that's warranted. Yeah, as, as a matter of fact, even um, uh, I believe that um, the kids from Kentucky a couple years ago, De'Aaron Fox, when he was in the college, he lost his last game, and they were crying, you know, in the locker room after the game, and they showed him crying, and it was like because it, 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 they just got through losing in the tournament, and it was it was tough, you know, very emotional kids. See, I, I, think, I think there's additional layers, though. She is a woman. She's a woman basketball player. And she does not look like what a lot of people try to make female basketball players look like. She's very uh, feminine. She has a okay, boyfriend. Yeah, 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 and yeah, so yeah. I feel like a lot of the commentary is meant to humble her and bring her down. Because she's all the things that they claim they want women basketball players to look like for the most part, right? There's variations in taste. But she is a feminine woman. She prefers men romantically. And so yeah. they're going to nitpick it at everything. And they're going to try and bring her down. They're going to try and tear her down for every little thing that happens. And it all piles up on her. And I know people Ooh. try to say they want to take race out of it. But that's impossible in this well, situation. I, th- I think it's also how she comes about it. You know, like you can't say you can't speak how you speak. And then, you know, not think they're not going to speak the way they speak. Like. She comes off, you know. I'm a, I'm unapologetically me. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. Da, 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 I'm, I'm, and, but when they when they, you do that, now here comes a pushback, and you got to be when, when you lose, you got to be like, I lost. I gave my best. You got to take it on the chin. You, it, 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 that's just sports. You you can't you 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 can't talk your talk, and then when you come up short, like oh man, well you know you should back off me now. No, nah, you, you was talking your talk. That's part of I it. So, I don't think she said you should back off me. I think she talked about some of the horrific things she's had to endure yes, since the champion. Yes, yes, yes. So I support oh. her talking her talk. She's a she's a yes. ball player. She's an athlete. So, so, she's yes. a competitor. This is not croquet. Yes. This is basketball. Yes. Yeah. So hold on. Let, let, just level set for the, for the room. For the room. For the people that don't know, we're talking about uh, Angel Reese. We're asking uh, Angel Reese: Is she a hero uh, or or a villain? Uh, where's my nice little graphic here? Boom. There you go. Share that. We're, 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 we're talking about Angel Reese. Is she a hero or a villain? Uh, she definitely is um, uh, an inspiration. She's an influencer. Uh, and we're talking about how, just for context, uh, last year, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark uh, were going at it. Uh, Caitlin Clark mm-hmm. is considered, uh, if not one of the best, the best um college basketball player women's college basketball player uh and uh they were going at it last year where's my other image well okay share this image here <clears throat> okay all right so it's kind of hard to see but down at the bottom bottom right hand corner is caitlin clark uh the young white lady playing for iowa angel reese young black lady playing for lsu you see them doing that john cena right they're doing the. It's they're doing the. the, the uh, it's the Tony Yeah Yeah. Well, yeah, Tony Yeah Yeah, Tony Yeah Yeah. Yes, yeah. but I want to. I want to say something about that. You're right. Tony Yeah Yeah started it, but Tony did it with four fingers. John did it with five, and that's it. I'm just saying. So we can call really? it the Tony Yeah Yeah. We can call it the John Cena, <laughs> but they got five fingers up. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Hey, I'm a G Unit fan. I'm a G Unit fan, you know so I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm riding. What? You know what it's called. You can't see. So me. You can't see me. So the number of fingers okay. don't really matter. Just saying. Mm-hmm. It's the, it's the All right, Karen, you, 
You made your point. You made your point. Cultural appropriation is real. It was the Tony Ayo before it was the John Cena. Okay. And I think now. they I think they gave they gave a lot of pushback. Well, when when Caitlyn did it, it was cool. But when and I think that's where the hate came from for her. When Caitlyn did it, Go it ahead. was cool. On it. But when but when um when 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 Reese did it, when Angel. when Angel did it, when Angel did it, it was a problem. And that, that I, I don't I don't agree with that type of BS. Like if you, you okay. out there and, and, and the cold part, Caitlyn was like, Yeah, I was talking my truck and she was talking to her. It's cool, but the media and the fans made it a big deal. Yes. Yes. Now, um, okay, that's a great segue. So I know that I know that Michelle was wondering, um, uh, hey, so what's all what's the significance in the context? All right. Uh the context here is like like we just said, we have uh, a white basketball player culturally appropriating a Tony Yeo move from G Unit, all right, and doing it to people all season. By the way, Caitlin can ball. She was backing it up. She can ball. She can the girl can play. All right. Uh, and then so they get to the final, they get to the championship game last year. And somebody jump in if I miss any steps. They get to the championship game last year. LSU, the team with Angel Reese, they end up winning. And as they're winning, you know, Angel uh, gives her the the giant. She she does it back to her. Angel's like, "Hey, you can't see me, right?" And then not only does Angel do the do the "you can't see me," Angel's like, "Matter of fact, look, ring. I'm getting the ring before you." All right. So it was mm -hmm. a, a lot of gloating. And if you can, if you see the montage video, this is her farewell video because uh, she a new development. She's she's leaving LSU as you guys said earlier. Uh, she could have stayed one more year to do her COVID year because because of COVID they didn't play. She could have stayed one more year as she chose mm -hmm. to retire. Now I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you why this is significant. Um and I'm still getting some feedback. Hold on, I'm gonna mute uh, just a couple. All right. All right, that's good for now. All right. So I'm gonna tell you why this is significant S. Angel and I don't have the quote, Tony jump in, Al jump in. She said I might stay in uh college another year. I have NIL endorsements. Because college kids are now able to get outside endorsements when they weren't, they were they can they can be a pro athlete now, right? When they were amateur mm -hmm. per se, now they get endorsements. And she and her uh, teammate Flo J said, "Hey, I might stay as long as possible because the WNBA don't pay a lot, and I have endorsements right now. So the uh, WNBA got to step up." They said that on the Breakfast Club. So it so I'm not leaning one way or the other, but I'm giving y'all a full picture. Some people got mad because yeah. Angel come off like, hey, like I'm cocky. Like, I don't need the WNBA. I'm good. I'm making money. Or, you know, you can't see me. And they didn't like how she did that. And it is a double standard because Caitlyn did it and no one complained. But there's this whole thing around, you know, LSU not fully standing for the national anthem now. That's the new thing. Whereas out Iowa, the full team is there hand in hand for the national anthem. And the media started to play up this black girl, white girl challenge type american versus you know rude villains heroes versus villains mm -hmm. and that's where this whole thing kind of came about anyone hear some of that as i set up the next uh clip well Dave, thought, what what it is yes. is that um what that is is it's true they the, the media set it up to be a black and white thing because come on it's iowa there's very mm. few black people in iowa right, right? for one for two uh the updated version is um angel did um forego college and she is going on to wnba because there is a rule that after your season is over you have roughly about 48 to 72 hours to make your decision mm. so she is going to the wnba now however her she's making more in endorsements than she will be in the WNBA, so to make that statement is actually accurate for individuals that know that know uh, sports, right? So the people, so it becomes an issue with her making that statement for people that don't follow sports and don't understand that what the maximum salary in the WNBA is what three hundred thousand. So no, less than that. Come less on, than that. She, she she has she has she has million dollar endorsements in college. She doesn't need the WNBA. Right, and the, the the even piggyback on that with you is if you don't that's like for the men in the NCAA for the men to go um, turn pro, obviously it's, it's more money, it's more lucrative for them to turn exactly. pro because the contracts is bigger. Uh, yes. For 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 the women's side, if 
depending on the woman, uh, like in this like Angel Reese, it's no it's no rush for her to go pro because like the contract I think uh, I think is either seventy five to one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars something like that. Uh, she's making that in college, so it's, it's it's no rush to say okay if she was making nothing in college like like, like they were at one point, then you would say well, why don't you just go ahead and turn pro? But even with that, it's like uh, you stay and get your degree and still get a, and, and still get a job. It pays you more than that. So they stay in college in the, on the women's side because of that. Uh, the, N- the, the NIL also travels with them to the WNBA. I had a conversation with, uh, with, with the people about that, and that travels with them. So just because they turn pro, that doesn't mean that all of a sudden they lose the NIL. That, that endorsement deal follows them yes. to the WNBA. Correct. Yeah. So, uh, hey, quick, quick question: What what does NIL stand for? Quick question: NIL name 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 image and name and likeness. Name, name and likeness. Okay, name yes. image and likeness. Got it. Yeah. Oh, so just for the just for the slow people. Sorry, sorry, Kara. So that means they're licensing out their image and their likeness for endorsement for money. Yeah. Now they get paid for it versus before the NCA used to get yeah. all the money but for it. Everywhere. Okay. Go yeah. ahead, Kara. I'm sorry. Yeah, but the difference is when you become a WNBA player as opposed to a championship LSU player, the viewership might not be the same. Very so true. So that's why I'm saying her her uh, NIL contracts, she might lose some money overall going pro, which sounds crazy. It didn't um, sound like that when I was when I was talking to her, when I was talking to her people and I because I, I said to her, you know, I said, I understand why they stay in college. Because they, you know, they make more money staying in college. And she was like, no, that money goes with her. So it didn't seem like she says that, okay, because she jumped out, uh, she jumps in, goes pro, that all of a sudden the money now goes down. She said that money still goes with her. Now, no, I understand people say. Existing contracts will remain the same. But when it comes time for renewal, what will her visibility be like? That's what I'm addressing. The, 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 and and, and, the, the, and be. I, I don't know what that's going to be like, but I think I think I, yeah I, I think do. that uh I, I think that with um the uh, the popularity of of women's basketball that she has helped boost and all the LSU fans all the all the people that root for LSU will now be traveling to whatever team she's going through. So well, I think I think viewership will start moving along in the WNBA as well. Wherever team Caitlin Carr goes to, all the Iowa fans will now be tuning in to whatever team she, if she plays for Phoenix, they'll be watching all the Phoenix games. Well, not only that, S, again, um, this whole villain um, moniker that's going on right now, uh, she's very marketable. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. once she hits the the WNBA, Uh endorsements is going to come left and right anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, so look, I'm going to slow it down because you guys are definitely hitting important points. I definitely want to talk about the marketability of being a villain. I want to talk about Larry Bird and Magic Johnson and the way that mm-hmm. plays into this, right? Black and white and, and, and professional basketball because this is huge. But first, I got a question. Uh, Drew asked, did Caitlin Clark do this to someone? Did Caitlin Clark do the you can't see me? Did she, did she yeah. do that to someone? Yes, she first? did. Can yeah. anybody... Talk about it. Who was it? Was it just anybody she was up against? She's referring to when she says, "You can't see me." She, I, I believe that's, that, that's Angel. She, yeah. Who is she, she referring to when she said, "You can't see me"? It's obvious. I, I talking about Angel. No, no. It, it, it was actually it was actually an NCAA tournament, and it was it was kind of like the game she did before it in South Carolina. She didn't do it to Angel. She did this. South okay. Yeah. Angel. Yeah. That's it, 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 was, it, was, it was her. It was just Caitlin talking her trash. That's, that's right. It, it, and that's, that's all it was. Caitlin and Angel actually played against each other in um when in when she was in Maryland, and I forget where Caitlin played. So I didn't watch them back then, but I went back and looked up some of the information. So they know uh-huh. about each other. This is not new. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm sure Angel about said, that. It's not beef. It's just competitive. Yeah. When yeah. they're on the when they're on the court, it's ball play. It's no friend. You know my friend. Yeah, and, exactly. and, and Kay, I think Kaylin even came out and said, "Hey, I have no, I have no problem with her which, and what she did." Like it, it, it was like, "Hey, that's basketball." Like I think, I think, I think because women are talking trash, that now it's, it's because oh, that's that's foul. That's that's not what we want to see. No, this is basketball, and this is where this is where it, it's going to. This is what this is what Andrew Reese is, is accustomed to. 
This is where I mean, obviously, obviously, Jaden's accustomed to it. She's she's doing it as well. So this is basketball, but it's like okay, women shouldn't be doing that. No, this is what it is. And when you see it being done back, okay, be quiet. Listen, let's see what it is. All right, let's check this out. This is a clip of Angel Reese discussing her relationship with uh, Caitlin Clark. So you guys are right on point. Perfect timing. Me and Caitlin Clark don't hate each other. <laughs> like, I want everybody to understand that. I just wish people re realized that. Like, once I get between those lines, it's no friends. I have plenty of friends on the court that I talk to outside of the game. But, like, when I get between those lines, like, we're not friends. We're not buddies. I'm going to talk trash to you. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get in your head the whole entire game. But after the game, we can kick you. Like, I'll take the villain role. I'll take mm. the, the hit for it. If this is the way we're going to do it, then this is the way we're going to do it. You like it or you don't. This Notice. was a great game last night, and I'm really happy that Angel Reese said this. She said, she said, I'm okay being a villain. Yeah. And I'm okay being a villain. Um, now, mm -hmm. this is another person doing his commentary, so that's cool. But I had to use that clip because she said, I'm, I'm going to play it again. She said, me and Caitlin Clark are not friends, and I'm okay being the villain. So please remember that she did say live in an interview I'm okay being the villain. So some of mm -hmm. the criticism could come from, like you said, S, don't put yourself out there and be like, hey, I'm the baddest thing going. I'm cool being a villain. And then you're upset because people are treating you like a villain. So I'm letting it play out. In someone's story. So, you know, you're always a villain in someone's story. And when she says that, hey, if I'm the villain in your story, this is how I'm taking it. Since we're playing the, the woman card, you know, and furthermore, I've seen men cry. I've seen mm -hmm. Michael Jordan cry. I've seen them mm -hmm. all cry in tears mm -hmm. when they win or when they lose. So it's yes. a big thing for her to be, it's not a female thing for her to get up there and be emotional and talk her talk. It's not even a, a gender or a race thing. It's a, it's an mm -hmm. athlete who is performing, who um, who didn't win, and they're having a natural reaction because it was Angel Reese. And W oh, stuff is kind of new that and because of her personality, it's it has more layers on top of it. But if you take no. her out and all of that, everyone has done it okay. at some point. So, Absolutely. So, Sophie, you, you make a good point. So you make a good point that we've all cried, right? Men and women. I got that. But I don't think it's playing the woman card uh if someone makes a comparison and says male athletes don't complain about the public hating them or I mean, some do, and some they, have been criticized for for, for, for instance, about it. The bad boys of basketball. What was that guy named Tony? That he yeah. was um, something happened, and he they, it's a bad boys. Somebody y'all know basketball better than me. The, 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 the Detroit, Detroit bad boys. They embrace. They embrace that. They embrace that. Care that Isaiah Thomas would left off the USA team? Is anybody crying about that? No. Well, hold on. Isaiah is. Zeke's been crying for thirty years. Yeah, and, okay, no, no, okay, no. So, what I'm saying and, is the media out here. No, no, they, how he's, no, why they don't know nobody cares. Mm -hmm. Well, he's also, but, but, he's also, he, he's also not the darling that, that everybody cares about. Like, if they left LeBron off the uh, off the, the Olympic team, it'd be a different conversation. Mm -hmm. be, oh, why they do that? Oh, oh, no, but they didn't like Isaiah, like, nobody liked Isaiah, mm -hmm. so yeah. him not being on the team. It was like me not being on team. They don't know me. But yeah. Isaiah took on. Isaiah's well, as, as, as nobody like you either. I'm I'm just, no, I'm just I can love that. Isaiah was not. <laughs> he was so, not go ahead, Sophie. And Isaiah was not initially a villain. Once they started villainizing him, he said, you know what? I'm going to be a villain. Then we are. And then they started uh, doing mm. things. You know, so they, I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump in a little Sophie, because me being me being they from Chicago, it. me being from Chicago. Okay, Isaiah Thomas. When I was a kid, you know, you know, we tried to go get autographs, and I got Isaiah. Th my mother got Isaiah Thomas autograph. Everybody was like, "Okay, Zeke, he from Chicago, right?" When he got to the NBA, I was cool with him until he started hating on Michael Jordan and the Bulls. That's when I had an issue with Isaiah as as a as the way he played. And here's what I want to say. He started to play physically. He played physically, and he did that, and it got them championships, but it made people in Chicago hate him because he was beating up on our beloved Bulls, 
and our new superstar, Michael Jordan. And I'm not talking about just physical play. It was like, I'm trying to injure this joker. And we ain't what, like it. What so, really so, and I'm, coming, people... I'm coming to you, Tony. But he, I'm, what I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a point. Sorry, I'm long-winded. He was playing the villain on purpose and he was okay with it. Like he embraced being the villain. He didn't give a damn until he got left off the Olympic team. Then he got in his feelings like, wait a minute, why y'all going to ice me out? But nobody was mad when he was icing players out in the all-star game and telling people, hey, just ice that new kid. Don't let him shoot. So that's what I'm saying. If you're going to play the that's villain, the play tone. the villain Please. and own it. Tone, go ahead. And then ask. There's a, there's oh, a difference, then Kara. Go ahead, Kara. Angel, she, she wouldn't have been considered a villain if she wasn't so damn good. Period. That's part of it. That's part of it. Yeah. She would not yeah. have been. She wouldn't have been. She would have been a non-factor. Nobody would have been talking about her. Very true. So, but I'm, that, but that's go ahead, Tony. But that's sports. Period. If and the, the only people that's going to get the notoriety are the good players. The good, the bad, and the hate. They gonna, they gonna, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna give you a perspective from someone, a who's played on a collegiate level, hooping since I was 13. And I want to ensure that we address the behavior, not the individual, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think Angel Reese is a hell of a player. I think she's beautiful. I think the the villain thing, do you? She is competitive. Mm -hmm. and, she, and and on one side, she got the, the, she gives off the image. I don't give a damn, like it or not. Mm -hmm. But that interview you just showed when they lost, do you think that would have been her disposition if they won? Nope. No, no, she is Not okay enough. with being the villain when they're winning. Mm -hmm. You got to have that same energy when you lose. The that first thing she should have said when she went up there, even crying or not, you could cry. That's cool, cry. Mm -hmm. But don't act like a victim and say you're sexualized when you got paid to be in a bathing suit on Sports Illustrated and you were cool with that. You were cool yeah. with saying. I love I will I love being on the beach and everyone loves me and say I'm so sexy and then get on TV and say I'm mad for being sexualized. You got paid a pretty penny to be in that bikini and you was a okay with that. So let's leave that alone. The first thing yeah. you should have said was it was a great game for women's <laughs> basketball. It was competitive. Shout out to K Clayton Clark. They did their thing. My team did their thing. You know we're gonna come back regroup and and we'll do it again. You know cry. We'll, we'll, but she played victim. You yeah. you talking about they, they talked about Jesus Christ on the cross, Angel. Who are you? They talk about you, they they talk about me, they talk about Kara. Right. Angel Reese is a professional athlete who gets paid seven million dollars. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. But but so but sorry. I gotta say, but I got but I, I gotta say this, and this is important, Tom. I gotta say this, and this is this is important. She's still a woman. And look, I know some women What'd get mad mean? when we play. Let me finish. Some people get some women get mad when we play the woman card. They say, hey, man, we're equal genders. Don't don't you know, don't boohoo me, blah, blah, blah. But look, y'all, let's be honest. When a woman says my mental health has been affected because I've had death threats, I've been over sexualized. I get marginalized. No one cares about what I've been through. When when, when a woman says that. We do have to take that into account, even though they are professional athletes and they gladiators and they get in the ring and they step up. We because look, because because check it out, check it out. Heckling during the game, I can understand, but now in today's world of social media, you got people. Uh, everybody, somebody go on mute. I heard something in the back. Sorry, I mean this because I'm getting cool. And I, and I know I know this just from doing what we doing now, Tone. My personal life, I share bits and pieces, but it's not up to people to start hitting up my fiance in the DMs and saying stuff about me, or it's not up to, you know what I'm saying? I understand what I'm getting into being a content creator, but she ain't necessarily getting into that. It's just like, uh, it's just like uh, when Juanita Jordan got spit on at the Pistons games. I understand that's Michael Jordan's wife, and I understand y'all hate Michael Jordan, but let her patronize the game and not have to get spit on and not have to be um, threatened. You know what I'm saying? So I do understand that when it goes off the court and it turns personal, right, then someone can be like, hey, you you guys are trying to bully and take advantage of a woman because I don't want to see any woman do stuff like that. I don't want to see a man do that. 
But uh, I, I thought about uh, the hold on, strikes. Hold on, hold on, uh, hold, on, hold, on hold on, hold on. I gotta get uh, Al because Al waited patiently. And then Tone, I'm gonna give you a chance to respond. Al and then Tone and then S. Go ahead, my okay, bad, Al. Go ahead, bro. Here, here, here's the deal. The one thing, though, what you're saying is understand understanding sports and where it's going. You have fans. You have you, you have fandom. It comes with the territory. Period. Mm -hmm. So that is not an excuse to say, well, you know, my wife is off limits. My family is off limits. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. Now, secondly, mm -hmm. when you said a woman with mental health, are you saying that I don't, if I cry and I'm upset and I don't like it, that I shouldn't get the same preferential treatment as a woman? So you can't make that statement just because she's a woman that we have to slide back and take it easy on her. Especially with the loose term of what woman is nowadays. Oh my God. And and I'm a woman <laughs> and I just feel like that's, I agree with uh, our, the panelists that you talk, you talk, you lose. You do all these things. It all comes with the territory. She should take her licks and be professional and not pull she pulled the woman card she's pulling all these things to try and make everyone feel sorry for her when she feels bad for herself and all this thing about angel reese loss no she didn't the entire team she is not right. just one person it's the entire team so you personally taking all that on your shoulders respectfully if that's the case then you need to be humbled if you feel like I lost, mm -hmm. then it's good for you. And as a young woman, it's good for her growth, for her to realize that that's just not how real life works. So I, I, See, I agree I, with I it's okay I, that she shared her her struggles after the after the game. She's not coming back. She took it throughout the year from what she said, and she shared what she was going through. I don't see that as trying to play victim. Can you play back the clip, Dave? Because she didn't congratulate. She wasn't even. Nope, nobody. About being she wasn't even um, professional. It was like she hugged Peyton well, well, after the game. She, yeah, she, she, she was not to say it, but right. she hugged Peyton after the game. Yes. No, she wasn't like, talking like, about that when Caitlin. she was winning. When yeah. she was winning, she was not talking about that. So no, I agree with. I agree with. I agree with all of you guys and what you said. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. One at a time. Let Let Kara yeah. finish and then yeah. S. Go ahead, Kara and S. She said after winning the championship, she hasn't Karen. had peace. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. She hasn't had, but she was just in a video saying, I'm okay with being a villain. So I, I agree I with, I agree with, every, with everybody saying that she made peace with her situation. I understand the words that came out of her mouth. Just because you say I'm okay with something, you've accepted it. Like I'm okay with some of the crap I deal with. That doesn't mean that that's really what I want. I agree with all you guys and your assessment, but at the same time, what we haven't really said is her involvement in this. Like, and I, I mean, when, when he says, you know, the, the death threats, I don't think it's good anywhere, no matter what. And I, and, and like I said, that's that she's not going to get that death threats anymore because she's going on to, to the WNBA and the fandom isn't that way. But as far as like, like, you know, her being sexualized, I didn't realize that she was in Sports Illustrated in, in a bikini. I so you, she played a part in somebody visualizing her at this point now. Sexually, uh, you talk your talk. I'm, 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 as we're sitting here, I'm watching basketball, and that's why I keep. That's why I usually have my glasses on. I'm watching basketball while we while I do this. But so I'm watching the Clippers, and I'm looking at Westbrook. But Westbrook sits there and he goes to the basket. He pumps his chest and talks his trash. And he rocks, you know, when he does something to somebody, he's rocking the baby and yada, 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 that. But when it goes bad and the crowd is on him, now he wants to say, I'm a human being and don't disrespect my name by calling me Westbrook. Well, you shot the ball and hit the top of the backboard, brother. That ain't that, that, what do we call that? We call that a brick. That's a no, brick. They you, call, they call like, it the N-word in Utah. Right, right. That's some other right. shit. Hey, 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 like I said, those type of things are wrong. I remember playing basketball and some fans was talking to me. And we was, was in Iowa. I, when the fans were talking to me, saying some shit, and it was a dude and his girl. And I turned around and said, "So after the game, if we win, I get to fuck your girl." Now you so, out of line. You out of yeah, I was out of line, but he was saying some shit to me. So this is where I felt. This is where I was going with. It. I mean, and I, and like I said, I'm one. Hey, I invite that smoke too. I'm cool with it. I can talk that trash with you. I know you ain't finna come touch me. 
I know that's not going to happen. So, and I'm not, go back to what I'm watching. I'm watching a uh, a uh, 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 Joker. The Joker. He doesn't talk any trash. He just hoops. What backlash does he get? Well, so None. but again, but again, yes, look at it. Look at it from this point because of the, the the it's competition and like you said, there is fandom. I experienced the same thing when I was in college. I sat on the bench and they heckled the shit out of me for not even being in the. I wasn't even in the game. But Water boy. I, but I took it on the chin because yeah. I know in sports it comes with the territory. Yeah, they're gonna do that. They're gonna do that. If you got, if you got, hey, you got a, if you got a funny name, they, man, <laughs> if you got a funny name, that you will hear that name the whole game. Yes. Let me tell you, what Angel I think Reese you guys... gonna be okay because not only is she making seven million, but to answer your question, she's going to the LA Spark because the LA Spark has the second pick in the WNBA, and that is the perfect team for her. She has the charisma. It's a big market. She's gonna make money there, and they need a big girl. She's not. She's not going that high. She's not she that. She's 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 not. She's not even going in the top five. Hmm. She's, 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 she's good. She's, going to she's the LA good, but she's not that good compared to the other women that's coming out. Somebody do a big girl. However, about the sexualization, I don't think some some of the gentlemen quite understand what that's really like. So, like as far as social media, like I intentionally don't show you know, my body on social media. Like, that's not what my, my aim is. Boom. And Boom. I still but, you, 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 but you hear what you just said, mama? You said you don't show your body. But let me she finish. Her body. Let me, but let me finish. Okay. I get at least two to three, uh, I don't know if I can say this, eggplants, let's say, in my inbox a week at a minimum. What's an eggplant? <laughs> Do, does anybody <laughs> have a little shower later? later? Take a look now. Uh-huh. What's the eggplant? Does anybody have one they can show right now? For display? You can't see it. Hey, hey, hey. You can't see my eggplant. Dave, we can't hear Dave, you. Dave, you're muted. Dave, you But go ahead, Carol. For good reason. Go ahead, Carol. What I'm saying, though, is a lot of women endure a lot of that stuff with or right. without asking for it, quote, unquote. So yeah, I can eggplant. understand that mm-hmm. maybe so, she's in a place where she's like, well, I'm dealing with it anyway. Let me accept this offer illustrated. Right. I want so to. I want to. I want to. You accepted hold it. On. So why say now you're being sexualized? You, hold, you hold know on. what it is. Uh, hold, hold on. Hold on. Let me. Let me segue into the clip because I, I hear it's a great conversation. Let me. Let me play the clip about now. At the bottom, it says here, uh, Andrew Reese talks about taking the time to reset in a post game interview. My mental health is the most important thing before a game. You mentioned earlier uh, the importance of having time to reset. To what extent do you feel comfortable sharing, maybe just generally or conceptually, what you felt you needed or to reset or did reset? My mental health is the most important thing before anything, and I'm going to make sure I'm okay before anything because I don't want to cause anything harm or any cancer within in the locker room. So being able to take a reset to myself, like I said before, I am human. I'm not just an athlete, and that's okay to do. Pros do it all the time. So... Whatever stories that were wrote and written, don't believe everything you read. I mean, I'm back and I'm happy and I'm here and I'm moving forward and I'm going to take this team and help take this team as far as I can. I mentioned earlier uh, the importance of having time to reset. To what extent do you feel comfortable sharing? So, so you can see that she she thought that um, mental health was was important. Dave, you know, that's, that's any response. Of calculated response. That, that's any of them. That's that's, that's any of them that that's, that's, that's in the media going through whatever they're going through. They say they, they say it's a man and they're talking about his family situation. Okay, let me get myself situated and, and 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 focus on this game. All of them have to mentally be there in the presence of that team. Like so, that, that can be so such a wide brand of where she's going. Now, I, once again, I don't think that nobody should be sexualized. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that's. I'm not condoning none of that at all. The death threats, once again, I'm not condoning none of that at all. But I can't add to the fire and then be mad because my log is in the fire. Mm-hmm. And, so, and your okay. log is the one that's burning. So so her her dressing on her Instagram and in sexy outfits, um, et cetera, et cetera. You know, yeah, that's that, just... You, what do you, what, what, what do you, I mean... That's nothing. No, her no, getting... It, no, 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 it is something. Wait, wait, wait. See, that, that's don't, don't dismiss that. You, you can't sit there... And you have a large following, 
and you're sitting on on Instagram half naked, and then you think that it's just nothing. No, it's something. People are looking at it. Like no. men, are, you, as you said, some I don't know which one said it that people look at their, their Instagram and they're fully dressed, and men and, and she gets two, three eggplants or whatever you call it uh, in in um in her inbox. There men are there's some men out there that are already gonna undress you regardless. Now that I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna have I'm gonna be undressed, or she's gonna be undressed. What do you think is gonna happen, Esteban? Not only that, she leverages her attractiveness to for for monetization, like for money. So you and, uh, just leverage your sexiness for money and then say you sexualize me. You it's it it's one or the other. Sex sales. Yeah, but it, 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 one, one, one thing, and that's one of that's this is one of my arguments I'm about the WNBA. The this is one of my arguments about the WNBA, and it's part of it is I when I go to the games and when I have gone to the games or when I watch on TV, some of these women aren't too attractive. So now I, I want I'm going to see a WNBA game and I'm looking at women that look like men. Man. So now so now when I go see a WNBA game and I got a woman looking like a very good woman, a very attractive woman, hey, this is what I came to see. Yeah. And she's open. Hey. Hey. I, I, I came to see women who I didn't come to see a, I wanna, I I see get, a dude looking like I didn't come to see a girl looking like Al Tariq. Right. I want damn yeah. shit. Right. I want to get to. I want to hey, get to. These are facts. Hey, these are facts. Right. I'm, I'm a bald head. You right. Hey. He is right. You. <laughs> these are facts. I'm going. I'm at. I'm at a woman's mm. event, and I'm, and I'm. I'm looking at Al. I'm. I'm come on. Right. Right. Well, let me. Let me hold on. Hold on. Let me get Tony's input, because Tony, you made a point. You said someone is getting paid to, you know, show their body and look cute and look sexy and wear outfits. This is a photo shoot. For I believe uh, either it's either Women's Health magazine. I think it is Women's Health. This is a photo shoot for Women's Health magazine, and mm -hmm. Angel Reese is you know promoting herself. So talk. You're saying she shouldn't be surprised that men are gonna sexualize her when she's sexualizing herself per se. Is that what you were saying, Tony? I I, I think it's um very convenient that you pulled up a conservative picture. That's very right. conservative compared to mm -hmm. what she's put out there. But again, I'm and that like, still look good. Sure. Like you beautiful, monetize that. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you? But after you lose a game, let's not try to leverage that for victimization. No one's gonna feel sorry. No one feels sorry for the villain, quote unquote. And she's really not a villain. She's a millionaire at twenty some years old. She has. She's to me. It's just right. like, come on, bro. Then you fact. make an announcement that you're going to WNBA, girl. It's it's screaming narcissism. Yeah, Actually, somebody asked. It. Like it's screaming. Obviously. Who makes a video? I'm declaring. Who does that? No one does that. No, they do that. They do that. They do no. that. I mean, I mean, LeBron did that. LeBron declared when he was no, going to Miami. NBA, yeah, no one does it from college saying, "Oh, I'm going to the to the draft." No, no one does that. Because the I mean, it's changing. The the sport is growing. The women's sport is growing. Did K did Caitlyn do it? Did any of them? She, did any of them? She's still playing. Well, she's still playing. Well, she no, but she already declared. All, she declared she going so, to WNBA. She has on. no choice. Somebody, she's a senior. Somebody no, said that Caitlyn looked she like got a COVID year. No, okay. she, no, she, no, she's done. Caitlyn, yeah. she's she'll be the Caitlin number one pick. Accepted. She's out of here. She knows where she's playing. Huh? Caitlyn played four years. Yes. She has she's one done. more year of eligibility because of the COVID yeah. year. I, I agree with so that because so did, so did Angel. So did Angel. Right. Yeah. Now, I, I will say this. I, I had heard that about Kate. Somebody, but, somebody, okay. said, somebody said, uh, um, why are we hating on Angel's looks? I don't think we're hating on Angel's looks. I think what we're saying is don't put yourself out there as a quote-unquote sex symbol or sexy type model and then get mad because people sexualize you. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right to sexualize anybody. But if but you walk take, outside... But if you walk outside, you know, and you're doing photo shoots and, you know, you're, sh you're showing your body and you're showing your curves. I mean, people may sexualize. You. It's like it's like if, if, if a man is well built and he's showing his chest and his arms or if a man is well endowed and he got on some tight, tight ass nut huggers, gray sweatpants. Women, right. women may comment. You right. Can, right. Well, comment. Wait a second now. Wait a minute now. For the tall girls over five nine who are built and stacked and put effort into it, whatever I, can, I, wear, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> and I look really good. And me and Kara are together, and she got her lips, and she's you know we're doing our thing. 
Mm -hmm. What they're not expecting if we exchange numbers or we give you our IG for you to give us an eggplant or a video. No, so, you shouldn't, you shouldn't expect that. I said to the solidarity. Yeah. But that's different. Wait, 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 that's wait. Different. Let me ask you, hold on, let me hold ask you a question on, about that. Let me, please, it's please. It's appropriateness. You can go on. But, but, um, but let's not, we're not talking. To, hold on, hold on, hold on. No one is talking about, you know. Your body. Hold on, hold on, Sophie. Very, like. No, 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 Sophie, Sophie, hear me out, hear me out. No one is talking about unsolicited uh dick pics we're not talking about somebody invading your dm what i'm talking about is you put your stuff out on instagram and you don't expect the public to say oh you're cute you're sexy you're fine you That's have a nice body talking, uh, she's talking about what me and Karen are talking about about they're sexualizing her like it's probably the stuff that ha happens behind the okay, scenes. Okay, so I so I heard something different. So you yes, hear sexualizing as, as so you you hear sexualizing model. model who so this, do so this. this is not That's sexualizing. Uh, Sophie, can you hear me? Is problem? this right? Hold, hold on, hold on. Let me let me go one because we're over talking. Let me just let me ask Sophie and then I'll ask Kara. Is this sexualizing? I'm not sexualizing her. Show me something different. I, I really want to see something. I'm asking, I'm asking you, is like, the no, I'm asking you, I'm Sophie. asking you, is this, uh, uh, hear me out, Sophie. No. Is this am, camera photo shoot sexualizing Angel Reese? This one is not. Okay, let's I go. Disagree. Let's round, round, round like, table. But this one, I disagree. Let's pause. How I disagree. Is this Al, yeah, I disagree one with you on that one. I disagree. I disagree. One, one, at a, one at a time. One at a time. Al, is it, is it sexualizing? It's How? definitely yes. modeling is exactly that. It's sexualizing. Michelle, is it yeah, sexualizing? Yes. All right. Um, Absolutely. Kara, is That's this right. photo yeah. shoot sexualizing her? I think you're misinterpreting Kara. what she said. Well, I'm just asking a question. You can interpret however you want. Is this photo shoot sexualizing Angel Reese? You can you can interpret however you want. No, not this one. Okay. Tell me why. Tell me why that. that Tell me why that was not sexualizing her. So she's wearing a crop top and pants. I'm a little sensitive to that. I'm a little, uh, I have a nice figure, right? And I mm -hmm. hate when I can be wearing the exact same thing as someone, let's say, shaped like Caitlyn. Mm -hmm. And people try to police me. Please let me <laughs> I, 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 As is a prime candidate. Stop. So, okay, okay, so, so now, let, let, please let me speak. Please, go, yes, please, go ahead, please. Ask, go ahead, ask, go ahead. You've been waiting. And, 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 and this is a that problem. Way. This is not just... Oh, oh, yeah. oh, there you go. You're saying that that's sexualizing her, Tony? That That's sexualizing? That's her yeah. promoting sexualizing herself. That part. Now, if people are... Well, we gotta let S go because he's been waiting. I'm sorry, so. Yes, Please. Uh, so, and, and I don't want, well, it's going to be taken how it's going to be taken. Uh, and this is an issue with women in today that, you know, they want to do what they want to do. They want to pop their shit and they want to act how they want to act. And then they don't want to be looked at a certain way. Mm -hmm. and, to get, wait, 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 and, and, and to get get around to it, this dude said, the problem is the women are standing too close to the hole. Preach. Let me say, let me say yeah. this again. The women are standing too close to those. And you said, you, you, um, damn it, I got to see it. You said you can wear the same thing as Caitlyn and you have a body, yada, this, yada, that. Well, you got women that dress real sexually out there and they count themselves classy women. And then you got hoes wearing the same goddamn outfit. And they out there doing, like they out there twerking, <laughs> they out there they doing all the wild shit and you but you got the same outfit or the same style outfit. You're standing too close to them. We can't tell the difference. Yeah. Yes. Hey, yeah, somebody well. left a comment and said Hi. somebody said would would men look at Caitlyn the same way? And I'm gonna say this. Somebody on online said Caitlyn looks like Mel Gibson. Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> we're not gonna look at we we're I, not gonna look at Kayla in the same way because she's not a very attractive woman in that manner. Thank you. That's but, all I'm saying, Kara. I'm not I'm not minimizing nobody. I, I'm simply can I make I, a I, comment I, too? And, 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 I, one, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of the tall woman. I love me a I tall love woman. Tall women. Boy, listen, check, check god damn it. You talk about a woman five five so, nine man. with, with five, 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 god, listen. Hey, I'm I'm free. I'm gonna do some push ups in the midst to make sure I can pick your ass up, <laughs> goddamn me. Look at that. Sophie goes show us her midriff. Well, look, well, I got my, 
Look, you know, look, God, don't, I, I, you, want, you, I, I want, I want, I want Michelle to make hey, her comment, hey, but, I, but I, I want to climb that tree. I will, uh, I will climb that tree. Don't do it. Don't don't threaten me to a good time. Don't don't do that. No, you you, <laughs> you said you got a nice figure and all that shit. Uh, Dang, I'm not, I'm this number, man. I'm, I'm only five. You, you Let me look. I, I, I show. I show. I show. Angel Reese and, and everybody went crazy. Ball, I didn't. Kara played ball. Yeah, you got. I got. I, I got. See, talking about that. I, I don't believe you, David. <laughs> she played ball. Right, I listen, don't believe you. Listen. Okay. Uh, Angel. 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 You know. People empower themselves. Okay, I have no problem with women empowering themselves. First of all, shout out to my man Drew Rich in the building. <laughs> what up, Drew? Hey. Hey. What's my man doing in the building? What up, man? What up, what up? Al Drew, you know? Oh yeah, Al, Al Drew. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all. Yeah, we will talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> uh, they, they gonna, they, they, gonna, they gonna be, they gonna be there later this year. We are gonna talk about that in a little bit. Um, but so <laughs> the thing, the thing is, man, you know, people, women empower themselves. You know, you've got the um, slut walk. That basically where men men would shame a woman back in the day for doing certain things. And now women like Amber Rose have taken the power back and said, you can't shame me. Right. Listen, if a woman is sitting here with, with her skirt hiked up, her midriff showing and her legs cocked open like a dude. And I'm not judging her. She can be as sexy as she wants. But that is sexualizing yourself. I don't care well, what you want to call it. It's the moment you say sexy. And it's not just that. It's an attitude with women as well. You got to take that mm -hmm. into consideration because whether you're wearing a mini skirt or a long ass skirt, it's your attitude. If you're going to make a post like that, obviously you're giving it away like that. So you have to be very, very careful. And like, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. Well, sometimes it does. But if you're doing that, obviously you are getting sexualized and you like the attention as well. Now we're also, I need to make a point. We're talking about a 21 year old. She's very young. And we cannot be taking so much seriously. Michael Jordan was young, dumb, and full of cum at one point. And why are we not judging him as much as we are judging this girl too and taking it so seriously? How, what makes that's you think a point. That's a point I wanted to make as well. They judged him. They judged She's him. young. She's very young. Jordan. Yeah, but now they're being very Jordan. severe with her too. She doesn't. I don't think she knows a lot of what she's talking about. I mean, why are we? I disagree. Yeah. This war, uh, hey, the information the information is plenty in this in this day and time. Like you you sit there and watch these the, what these women are wearing and it's like, oh. Like Oh no, but I'm not talking about what she's wearing. I'm talking about what she's saying. What she's saying. The, what she's, the, the, what she's wearing, the attitude. It's not about what, what the word. What she's talking about, what, I mean, like I said, she has all the information. It, it, and they're giving her all the information. Like they're, they're, she's not an ignorant woman. I have seen her. She's not. She knows what it what it is. And I'm she kidding. gets out there and, and she moves how she wants to move because she can. Yeah. Hmm. Now, All when right, you so move how you want to move, you got to take No, but that. I'm not talking about how she moves. It's just what she says that we are kind of like taking the... the well, after here. the game. After the game when she after was like, my mental health. And everything and... that she's saying after, like, is nobody okay. telling her or advising her to... So, well, let me I ask my man Drew. Let me ask my man Drew. Hold up, hold up. We've been we've been going around the block a lot. Drew, you want to say something? I know you came up here for a reason. Uh, I can ask you questions, or I can give you 30, 60, 30, 60 seconds. Tell me what it is that that made you want to jump up here. Uh, a lot of different things, man. A lot of good conversation going on tonight. <clears throat> uh, appreciate the comments. Um, as far as this topic, though, I I think we have to keep in mind that men and women are different, right? Men and women. Mm look at things from a sexual nature a little bit differently. And I think I think it was the barber who who kind of pointed out that if it was Caitlin Clark, would we still consider this being um, sexual in nature? So really, then that begs the question, if someone does a certain pose, but it's only considered sexualized by my type or by my appetite, then can I call it sexualization? Can I call what Angel's doing sexualization if I swapped her out with Al Tariq, like somebody said previously, right? Uh, going to basketball games, a girl that looked like Al Tariq. If I'm not turned on by that, then is it still being sexualized? Nope. So then, not is at it all. On Angel, or is it on the viewer 
um, who sees it and interprets it how they want to see it. The eye of the beholder. Great point. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Point. Especially, especially, especially in a modeling scenario where it is for uh, Women's Health magazine. This is not Playboy. This is not meant to be. This is not meant. This is this is not meant to be adult fair. This is a Women's Health magazine. It could have been Vogue. It could be anything. But we know adult fair. That's intended to be adult fair. And we know when it's you know tasteful modeling this is tasteful modeling so if a person finds this sexual that's just on them i would agree with you drew that's on them but but playboy is different so you see somebody spread spread eagle and playboy then you know the intention is to be sexual it's not how i interpret it they just got the coochie out so, okay you remember back when you, you remember back when stretch pants came in when they started wearing stretch pants yep right everybody you know and, and but everybody decided to wear stretch pants now we all mm -hmm. know that everybody shouldn't be wearing stretch pants. <laughs> <laughs> just, just keep it a firm. Just, just keep it a firm buck. Like you know, like you got you you got you know that that one that has that body and she's got the stretch pants, and then you got the one that's like a refrigerator and she's got on stretch pants. Now obviously, I'm not looking at the refrigerator like, oh, that's nice, but that one with the body. <laughs> you you looking at hey, it like, wait, 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 wait. The visual, we looking at it like, oh, they got the same thing on. So you make We're a great sexy. point, as so go ahead. You can sir. have a Lexus, you can have a Lexus with stock rims, and then you can have a Lexus with the rims on it. Which one's gonna look yeah. better? Respect. Then you tint the windows. As I think ahead, so. into the Atlanta, <laughs> I've been in for 15 years and now they claim me. When I first moved here, it was very modest. And it was the big Cadillacs that you're talking about that were wearing the tights that were showing their arms, that were showing their bellies. And I was like, I love their confidence. So if she, doing it, if she has what we some may say an undesirable body, then let me go ahead and just get comfortable doing it. Um, it is beauty is in the behind, eye of the beholder. In the clip that they keep showing, I don't know why you want to see the clip. I want to see the, I want to see the purple bikini. But anyways, they were <laughs> uh, trying to help us out. But when you're doing, you know, playing both ends of the middle, going off of her last clip when she's saying like all of the things that she used, and then now she's saying how they've hurt her. Really, that's you might want to keep that for maybe your therapist. All right, now we want to hear is that, hey, they played a good game. I'm good. I'm hurt. This is how I feel. I'm going through a lot of emotional stuff. Say whatever you want. But, you know, playing that card, it, I was kind of a loss for the woman. Because she didn't, I don't think that that may, may not may have been the platform. Yes, it's a conversation. But mm -hmm. you were talking a lot of, of stuff, you know. And you were, unfortunately, you and your team didn't back it up. So that's all I, I Yeah, I think the emotions after the game, you know, she didn't decompress. They wanted, they didn't allow her to decompress. Mm -hmm. And they stuck a, they didn't they, they stuck a microphone in front of her oh, and cool. she was going through she, she was going through everything she was going through and it spilled out at the wrong time. You know why? Cuz she's not a real villain. He, oh. Look, listen. Let's break it down like Come this. On, and, and this is this is this is the main reason I came up here. The reason why Angel and Isaiah Thomas are targeted is because of who they came after. Michael Jordan is and forever will be the darling of basketball. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, um, <clears throat> David, I know Chicago likes to claim Mike, but Mike belongs to America. Mm -hmm. He just have to play for Chicago, right? Man, so get, up. get out of here, man. Listen, man. Get, 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 get out of here. I disagree. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> They they ain't gonna pass out. And nobody care about. Come on, man, get out of here. Care about Mike hey, no, Mike hey, I'm Chicago hey, too. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Let hey, me finish. you wouldn't have Jordan. He wouldn't be. Uh, let me be quiet. Let the man Listen, speak. Be let quiet. Yeah. <laughs> if Mike had went, to I'm gonna put Angel speak. back up. I'm gonna put Angel back up. Hold on. Let me let me say this. Angel went after America's darling, right? Caitlin Clark. She she's becoming America's darling of basketball, and she went after. Listen, there are certain people who love being the villain. Kobe Bryant. He doesn't care. He don't care. He will be the villain in, in any situation. Draymond Green. Look, look at what Draymond says. Draymond said, 
he never apologizes sincerely. He punched out his own teammate at practice, right? Um, Dennis Rodman. These are people who love being the villain. They don't care. Mm -hmm. When you they when, now, when you when you're carrying hurt like Isaiah, oh Chicago turned on me. You're not a real villain. When you're crying uh, at the press conference, it's because you're not a real villain. She tried to play that villain role and it didn't fit her. It's it's the same thing with LeBron. He tried to be the villain in Miami, didn't fit him. You got to be built really to be a villain. Mm -hmm. She's not Facts. a Draymond Green. Facts. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to be comfortable. So, you got to be comfortable in that skin and in, in that so space. Who was so who was built? Who was built to be a villain? You you mentioned it earlier on the phone, Drew. Who was the consummate villain? Um, man, I just mentioned Isaiah. No, man, you forgetting? Rodman. I always Draymond. I always say you were just you you were just like this cat in college. Oh, Kobe. Kobe, I said Kobe. Kobe, yeah. Kobe, man. <laughs> Kobe owned. Yeah, yeah. Kobe owned. Kobe owned. Not giving her. And and listen, man. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. S knew him personally. As knew him personally. So Kobe owned being, you know, he, he an individual. I'll say, I'll say a villain, but you could probably speak on it better than me. As did, did he own, he didn't give a damn what yeah. people thought. Yeah, he 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 really he really didn't care. Like he 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 knew that it was all gonna be on his shoulders. It didn't matter, you know, what nobody thought at the end of the day. I'm good with it. And he's he's good with it. If it if it if it landed, if it's gonna land on his shoulders, we're gonna lose, it's gonna lose all because of me. And I'm cool with that. If we win, we're gonna lose win because of me. I'm cool with that. And, and, and you forgot one more. Charles Barkley was in that same boat. Absolutely. When, Absolutely. When, and, yeah. and, and, and the world of sports, when you not only think you're as good as you are. <laughs> but Wi-Fi. I, 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 I think I think I think I said the Wi-Fi cut off on you. And you are the number one thing, number one individual. Yes, you you got to embrace the villain role because it's going to come because you're going to talk that shit and you're going to get your team to the promised land no matter what. Right. So if you don't and you fail, you know what's coming at you. That that right. that's period when you're great. When you're the best one at work, my husband can't stand your ass. When you the you know what I'm saying that, that period that comes that with greatness. Period. That part. I I okay. think Isaiah in, in order for Isaiah to win. He had to embrace that because he was already there, and he and, and his yeah. team, and he had, he had others to that embraced it along with him. You know, all, they they, and, they were all out, they were all outcasts, so to speak. You know, they weren't. And they became if, the if, bad if, boys. If, 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 if you follow the the history of basketball, they weren't supposed to be in that in that air, air with Bird and 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 Magic, the Lakers and the Celtics. It was the, the Chicago Bulls was supposed to be the team that came in and, and was supposed to be. Uh, the Bulls, uh, uh, Lakers, and Celtics. The Pistons gangster their way in there and won. And they, they, and made, they played they off that. What, yes. what, really, what, 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 they, they were like the Raiders of football. I mean, they, of, of basketball. To the they point where yes. they didn't even shake Michael Jordan and the Bulls' hands when they lost. They walked off on the air. And that's what really but, that's what really tilted it right there. But see, that, that's, the, that's the white and black thing. That we, that it goes back to that. Because Boston did that to the Pistons. Before that, yeah, yeah. Well, what they got to do with the Pistons doing it to Chicago? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, you got you got to understand. The Bo Bo Boston did it to Bo Boston did it to the Pistons. The only reason they, they show uh, Kevin McHale shaking uh, Isaiah's hand. The only, only reason person. why Kevin McHale did that because he got caught in that situation where he was right there. He was like, "Uh, I'm here. I might as well." Bird and all the rest of them gone. Now let me tell you why that applies, uh, Tony, because. A white team blows off a black team and nothing happens. A white yeah. Caitlin gets the whoop, 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 and nothing happens. But a black team blows somebody off. Oh, they're they're thugs. They're scoundrels. They're the, the, I ain't like the Pistons either. And I thought it was a pussy move, if I'm being honest. Right? But but S is absolutely <laughs> right. Are you racist Are you now, then, Dave? Does that make you uh, racist no. now? No, because they're black. I guess I'm colorist. In, fa in fact, I'm Midwestist. I don't like the Pistons. <laughs> it's it's shot town all day. The Bulls. All right, but, <laughs> but the Bulls. But um, but no, man. So no, no. A great point is that the white team did it, and America didn't get mad. Caitlin did it, and America didn't get mad. But as soon as the black team does it, the black girl does it. 
oh, she's a thug. Oh my God. Well, and, and that's and that's real. And that's real. Go ahead, Drew, and I'm gonna play a reaction. Go show, ahead, Drew. Show me the video where Caitlyn is doing this in somebody's face. Show me that video. You don't have it. Well, let me show you. Well, hold let on. Show, let me tell you where Angel messed up. Like I said, she she went after the darling. She did this. Hold up, Drew. Her. Hold up, Drew. Hold up, Drew. Dad, Why? Dad, you're this not gonna my, find this it. This is my question. This, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna play this. Okay, look at the bottom of the screen. She listen. It's it's not that she did it right in someone's face, but she did it in a game to a player. So she wasn't. No, just she did it. Out. Okay. She didn't she do, do it to, to a player. player. No. Who she do it to? She did not. Who she, okay. Did not. Who she do it to? She did. Wait, wait, she did wait, wait, it wait, to wait, the wait, crowd wait. at South Carolina game. She did it to the crowd at South Carolina. Wait, wait. Who she referring to? So, so, hold on. That's so five, implied. So who, who's he referring to? Who? who? The crowd is not think? playing. It's implied. It's, it's saying South Carolina can't. Oh yeah, you can't mess with me. Hold so, your thought. All of them. All of them. Not all yeah, yeah. So all if you was in South Carolina, you too. Hold on. So we see Angel it. Reese. We we saying Angel Reese is is bad because because she did it to Caitlyn as she was winning. That's what we're saying. She's a villain. Yes, she mocked. No. She's not bad. No one's saying she's bad. No, no, no. Drew is. I'm saying, I'm saying she mocked a particular player. You talk to any football player, you talk to any basketball player, you can target, you can do what you want to do to the audience. You can do what you want to do to the team, to the bench. When you call out specific individual players, you're putting a mark on yourself. I can agree with that. But that's the game. That's, yeah, that's some, the game. People, some people like that mark. Some people want it. So that's when you game. want it, I, I, I you gotta take what's on with it. If you sitting on the bench and, and, and I'm sitting there doing this to you, you can you ain't even playing. And, and and damn girl, man, black, white, this hoop it's competitive. When yeah. you in them lines, nobody yeah. care about none of that yeah. because everybody know basketball is a universal game. Nobody mm -hmm. care about that. That's the media being divisive to bring mm -hmm. attention to the game. That's not exactly. the players. Like you see, you see players all the time do the too small move. <laughs> Which is the most, which, yeah. which is which is the ignorant shit in the world to me because you got small players doing it, but, but nevertheless, you got that's the funny this. part. Yeah, <laughs> like, come on now, like, like that's you totally trash. Little. So whoever, I'm just saying, the yeah. media jumped on that because she did it to her. She she did it behind her back. She did it to her face, and. Man, I don't, I don't want to hear it. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. She listen. Nobody said nothing when Caitlyn was dropping Steph Curry threes on everybody. And that, Kay, that's Caitlyn that's just destroyed them. Forty one points. I'm sure she did some sort of like some what? sort of expression, like ah something. Like come on, man. Just because I did it to your face. See, here's here's the problem. Here's the problem. I'm gonna tell you all the problem. The darling of America always has to be the whitest team. If you're whiter, you're the darling. And if the you're Bulls? blacker, you're the villain. Nope. The Bulls? I mean, the whole NBA is black. So it, it, when, wait, when Larry Bird and there wasn't that many guys? white players left. <laughs> There's a lot of white the Bulls. players. A lot. There's a lot of good white players. Luka Doncic is the one of the top <laughs> NBA players. Jokic, two-time MVP. Well, we have, so we haven't had a white team since Boston of the '80s. Boston of the '80s almost felt racist, and they might have been. I don't know, but it felt racist. Boston in the '80s. That's because right? the they game were, has grown to a global they, game. And that's they, the point. We're were, not gonna have they, no they, more all white teams. But but, but they, they, Boston wasn't as white as Boston wasn't as white as you want to believe. Boston wasn't as white as you want to believe. Like you had, you, you had Bird, of course. You had Mikhail. Hmm. You had Ames. But now you have um, uh, 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 Dennis Johnson. You got Cedric Maxwell. You got Gerald Henderson. You got uh, yeah. uh, Parrish. You had you you, you, you had got multiple. Dennis Johnson as well. You, you had Casey Jones. You had, you had, Jones. You had Jones. Casey yeah. Jones. You you had many black, but it's a white town. Yeah. Yeah. So and people look at a very racist white yes, town in that. Boston's one of the most okay. racist towns in the country. Yeah, I haven't been Hold there. Even hey, say that, Here's what we're gonna do for just a moment. We're gonna take about a, a thirty second intermission. Kara rhymes with Sarah. You said you got to bail in a little bit, Kara. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. Down no, I got... no, you can't go. Okay, wait. So, so Kara, so Kara, you mean you gonna I leave me around here with these dudes and this beautiful woman? <laughs>
<laughs> Kara, I think I think you would I think you would enjoy this clip right here. So I'm gonna play this clip, Kara, before you go. I'll say this. I really enjoy villain villains. Mm -hmm. I like villains. Mm -hmm. I like villains more than most. I can't stand this but shit. What, why is she a villain? Because of what she does on the court? She said she was. Who made her the villain? She, she said did. she was the villain. So Who yeah. made her the villain? Because someone made her the villain. And it wasn't her. She was being herself and bragging the same way that all athletes brag when they win, when they, when they hit a big shot, when they do this. I've, I've seen it a million times. But we don't talk about them the way that we talk about Angel Reese. So it's very easy to say that we're just going to eliminate the fact that she is a young girl and eliminate the fact that she is a black girl and eliminate the fact that she's an unapologetic black girl. We could take all that out. I love playing the we don't see color game. We don't see gender game. Let's do that. Do we talk about men who brag after winning or hitting a big shot the way that we talk about Angel Reese? I'll clear it up for you. We don't. We don't do segments about that because it's very common. We're used to seeing it. It's, it's absorbed differently. Mm -hmm. There's an expectation of how Angel Reese is supposed to act. The reason we know that is because of the reaction that we got from her. And we, when, when she did that to Caitlin Clark last year, people didn't like it. Men do that all the time. Joe Burrow, we could pull up so many clips of men doing this and this and this and so this and this. We ask for a lot of authenticity from players. Mm -hmm. We ask for the real. We ask for emotions. We ask for interviews. We ask for not the cans. Yeah, uh, congrats to Caitlin Clark in Iowa. Uh, I'm going to make my decision next year. Appreciate you all coming out. We just didn't play our best today. You know, we could have been better. We didn't play our best today. We could have on to Cincinnati, right? We don't like that, right? We want the real. We want the interviews. We want the authenticity. We want the emotion. But then when we get that, don't do that. Don't do that. Be the person that we've put you up here to be. Be the person that someone else said you were because you gloated, because you did something that men do all the time. What I'm trying to say is she didn't make herself the villain. She showed up unapologetically herself in the same way that men do all the time. But that's every, game, that's everybody, every Tuesday night in January. No, they don't. But they don't get the same thing. All right. So the question here is, did the media make Angel Reese the villain or did Angel Reese make herself the villain? Uh, Kara, before you leave, I'll let you answer that, and then you can uh, sound off on everything. Did she make herself the villain, or did the media make her the villain because they tried to pit her against and, and say she couldn't do what the white girl was able to do? Kara. The media villainized her. She It's not acceptable for someone who looks like her to be as cocky and kind as she is. They didn't like it, and so they made her the villain. I mean, I remember, and this is not athlete, athletic, but I remember when I was in uh, law school, we had a competition, a, a literal competition, and I beat a uh, Caucasian woman, and she cried, and I was reprimanded for beating her so bad. Mm. And this is an academic competition. It was a like a litigation simulation. She cried. And I was did you? Did you? You hit her with you that. You can't see me. <laughs> did, you taunt, did, you taunt, did you taunt her? Yeah. Did you taunt her? Did you? Did you taunt her? What you do? No, absolutely not. I mean, I put her. She ain't get no points. <laughs> but I'm saying, okay, it's like, so, they want to try and put you in your place. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now talking. Now we're talking because we did an episode back on Instagram called why is america afraid of black women with agency why is america afraid of black women with agency kara do you you're gonna go ahead and bounce out you're gonna stay for a little bit yeah go <laughs> but kara i need to see I that right before i gotta go <laughs> you right. need to send some pictures because I, I don't believe you 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 mentioned it the vegetables mention what the vegetables and the dms oh <laughs> i'm sorry my what team uh deleted now. I don't, I don't. <laughs> three so y'all talking okay. about, you know what? <laughs> That's a girl oh, talk. Hey, 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 no, no, don't interrupt. Let them talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hey, I'm going I'm 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 to I'm, I'm let Sophie and Kara talk. Y'all talk about the vegetables. Everybody take an intermission. <laughs> like, you, you're a married woman. Guy. You're a married woman, Michelle. Do you want to be on the stage? Do you get airplanes to me, Hita? No. So what do we? I don't. I don't get the eggplants. Damn. Maybe like a, I get the thumbs up, a heart, uh, all emoji. You know. Oh, no. I'm not getting. 
I'm just saying, and I don't, oh. I don't show my body really. It's usually, you know, right here and up. <laughs> I try to keep the, the frame tight. Okay. I mean, some men can be very disgusting. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, they're 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 pigs sometimes. Okay. So, what do you guys think? What you all know. the guys hear about <laughs> the the sexualizing stuff? Because they were like speaking for the women on what's sexual and what's not. Like, what is like <laughs> are as the ladies? Like, what is your thoughts about? Was the bikini shot thing like her like attracting like the eggplants, or is it just her being a model in a bathing suit compared to the the white outfit that she was wearing? Like, is that a thing? Is it not a thing? Hey, Des. <laughs> God bless you. Really? Um, I think that it doesn't matter what you're doing; someone can choose to sexualize you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I understand you, you have, saying. Go ahead. I just think that everybody should be held accountable. I'm always like gonna be, you know. You mm -hmm. can't. You can't just be wearing a sexy tiny bikini. I mean, she looks gorgeous. I wish I had that body, but there's eventually gonna be some nasty dude jerking off to that mm -hmm. in the privacy of his own home mm -hmm. and. Well, you put yourself out there and I don't really care how beautiful if you're the supermodel or you can be that Caitlyn, you know, girl that you guys are talking about or Caitlyn Jenner or whoever. Somebody's going to find that sexual. Yeah. And if you don't put no man, yourself don't, out don't there. Don't no man find Caitlyn Jenner sexual. Don't no man. I don't understand. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not talking for anybody. I'm just saying that there's people with their kinks. Mm -hmm. And that's why we put ourselves out there. It comes with the territory of being public, especially a public figure. Mm -hmm. I like how you phrase that. It comes with the territory. So if you're modeling and you're holding basketball or if you're mm -hmm. holding your bikini straps, whatever it is, it comes with the territory. Yeah. So because my, Yeah. So my situation with her is that when you've done those, because there are some women who don't do that. There mm -hmm. are some women who are like, no, I'm not gonna do Sports Illustrated. I'm not because these are my boundaries. So when you do it, then there's a situation, there's a, a TikTok or something going on about a lady who went to the airport and she wasn't dressed appropriately and they kicked her off the plane. And she was like, what's the big deal? What's the problem? What's the rules? Well, and yeah, I, I, mean, I agree. Yeah, so this, it is sexual. It is, it is what it is. So I don't know. I think we have to have some sort of level of morality. I know it sounds stupid or maybe old fashioned, but you have to respect yourself and respect the people out there too. Mm -hmm. And she's still a child. She's yeah, a that's why I, I said she's yeah. 21. Yeah, She's a young woman, I think mm -hmm. though, but men can make the choice mm -hmm. no matter mm -hmm. what you're wearing to sexualize you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and, I, and, I, and I and I and I and I'd like to say, and I'd like to say, that women can make the choice no matter what you're wearing to sexualize you too. And I'm going to say this: for, I'm not being funny, y'all. Men do over sexualize women. Men do that. I, I ain't going to act like we don't. Let me turn my mic down a little. I'm not going to act like we don't. Women, That's women can I say, also it do goes, the same. It goes because both ways. I, when I first started doing my show, right. You know how many coochie pics and titty pics I got unsolicited? Ew. Now, granted, now granted, I might have been clowning a little bit and encouraging foolishness, but some of that stuff came unsolicited. So it yeah. can happen. It can happen. So my former career, um, I part of my job was to listen to jail calls. And I've had the misfortune of hearing people have intimate moments talking about me from what they saw me in court. I was fully clothed. Yeah. Mm. So, just saying, it happens no matter what you do sometimes. Yeah. Um, I do minute. have to run. I am so sorry. All right, Kara. Kara Robs with Sarah. I appreciate you for joining, Kara. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Bye. See you. All right, you guys. That's Kara Robs with Sarah. Um, uh, my fiance says she thinks that uh, Caitlin is a pretty girl. I disagree, babe. Caitlin ain't cute. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. All right, look, ladies. Somebody I'm, I'm on, so. Somebody does. And like you said, somebody who finds Caitlyn Jenner cute, too. So what it is, what it is. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, the box. I mean, that was a bad example. I should have no, said, like, that, Megan Rapinoe or one of those. Right. 
<laughs> All right, ladies, we're going to take about a 30 second break uh, for station identification. I'll bring Ooh. you guys back up in a moment. I appreciate y'all. It's Dave Life After Dark. We coming back. In I really enjoy villain, villains. Mm -hmm. I like villains. Mm -hmm. I like villains more than most. But where, why is she a villain? Because of what she does on the court? She said she was. Who made her the villain? She, she said did. she was the villain. So Who yeah. made her the villain? Because someone made her the villain. And it wasn't her. She was being herself and bragging the same way that all athletes brag when they win, when they, when they hit a big shot, when they do this. I've, I've seen it a million times, but we don't talk about them the way that we talk about Angel Reese. So it's very easy to say that we're just going to eliminate the fact that she is a young girl and eliminate the fact that she is a black girl and eliminate the fact that she's an unapologetic black girl. We could take all that out. I love playing the we don't see color game. We don't see gender game. Let's do that. Do we talk about men who brag after winning or hitting a big shot the way that we talk about Angel Reese? I'll clear it up for you. We don't. We don't do segments about that because it's very common. We're used to seeing it. It's, it's absorbed differently. Mm -hmm. There's an expectation of how Angel Reese is supposed to act. The reason we know that is because of the reaction that we got from her. And we, when, when she did that to Caitlin Clark last year, people didn't like it. Men do that all the time. Joe Burrow, we could pull up so many clips of men doing this, this, and this, and this, and this. We ask for a lot of authenticity from players. Mm -hmm. We ask for the real. We ask for emotions. We ask for interviews. We ask for not the cans. Yeah, uh, congrats to Caitlin Clark in Iowa. Uh, I'm going to make my decision next year. Appreciate you all coming out. Uh, we just didn't play our best today. You know, we could have been better. We didn't play our best today. We could have on to Cincinnati, right? We don't like that, right? We want the real. We want the interviews. We want the authenticity. We want the emotion. But then when we get that, don't do that. Don't do that. Be the person that we've put you up here to be. Be the person that someone else said you were because you gloated, because you did something that men do all the time. What I'm trying to say is she didn't make herself the villain. She showed up unapologetically herself in the same way that men do all the time. But that's every everybody, game, that's everybody every though. Tuesday night in January. No, they don't. But they we don't get the same thing. I they don't get the same though. thing, and that's why she's in this position. But we don't. Yeah, you know, I don't think Angel should be criticized at all. Um, you know, no matter which way it goes, um, you know, she should never be criticized for what she did. Um, you know, I'm just one that competes and she competed. So um, I think everybody knew there was going to be a little trash talk in the entire tournament. It's not just me and Angel. So, um, you know, I don't think she should be criticized. Like I said, um, LSU deserves it. They played so well. And like I said, I'm a big fan of hers. One of the things people talk about is, is race as a component of this. Your thoughts? Yeah, you know, I don't think Angel should be criticized at all. Um, you know, no matter which way it goes, um, you know, she should never be criticized for what she did. Um, you know, I'm just one that competes and she competed. So um, I think everybody knew there was going to be a little trash talk in the entire tournament. It's not just me and Angel. So, um, you know, I don't think she should be criticized. Like I said, um, LSU deserves it. They played so well. And like I said, I'm a big fan of hers. One of the things people talk about is, is race as a component of this. Your thoughts? Yeah, you know, I don't think game UCLA versus LSU America's sweethearts versus its basketball villains because they have wanted to paint these girls as villains. But why? 100 percent. Caitlin Clark is great for women's basketball. Mm -hmm. Her skill is great for women's basketball. The tenacity and competitiveness that she plays with the way that she talks trash is good for basketball. And so is Angel Reese. Her skill, the way she plays, her competitiveness, the way she talks trash, the way she stands up and is proud of who she is. And because these girls are proud of who they are, something that the way they've been marginalized and devalued as black women, 
the world has told them they shouldn't be proud. So they have a problem that she is. And when you look at the comparison of the two, they're the same. Yep. Angel Reese talks about how much she loves Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark talks about how much she respects Angel Reese. That's what the game needs. And then What's up, y'all? It's Dave Life. It's Dave Life. You're watching Dave Life After Dark. This is episode number 250, Dave Life After Dark, episode 250. Um, a few people looks like they had to bail out. Let's see where, where everybody at, man. You know what? I think they thought it was over. I think because I had a, a little bit of a longer intermission, uh, Michelle, I think I think my team thought it was over. Cause I see you and I see Sophie. And oh, there go S, S, S. What's up, S? I'm here. All right. You here. Okay. All right. S still in the building, man. All right. <laughs> Come on, so now. He's gonna be second. He'll be back in a second. Man, 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 man. So I don't know if you guys were watching those clips, but uh I was. we talked a little. You saw him. Okay. Mm. Oh man. Um, it looks like a few people had to bail. Hopefully, some people will stay. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, should I post, I should I post your to, comment? I, go for it. Go for it. I've never gotten <laughs> one in my life. No, I've gotten worse. Michelle. I've gotten worse, but I had to do it. Michelle said, <laughs> "I'll let you. I'll let you read your own comment. Go ahead and read your comment." I said, "I'm going to ask my husband to send me a uh, just to see what it feels like." Oh, damn! An eggplant. An <laughs> eggplant. <laughs> you crazy, girl? You crazy? She said, oh, "I want to know it." <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man! All right, you guys. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Ryan Clark had a few things to say, uh, uh, S I'll try to play that, mm -hmm. um, clip one more time, man. And then we can get a reaction UCLA to it. UCLA game, UCLA versus LSU, America's sweethearts versus it's basketball villains because they've wanted to paint these girls as villains, but why? 100% Caitlin Clark is great for women's basketball. Mm -hmm. Her skill is great for women's basketball. The tenacity and competitiveness that she plays with, the way that she talks trash is good for basketball. And so is Angel Reese. Her mm -hmm. skill, the way she plays, her competitiveness, the way she talks trash, the way she stands up and is proud of who she is. And because these girls are proud of who they are, something that the way they've been marginalized and devalued as black women the world has told them they shouldn't be proud. So they have a problem that she is. And when you look at the comparison of the two, they're the same. Yep. Angel Reese talks about how much she loves Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark talks about how much she respects Angel Reese. That's what the game needs. And then mm. Okay. Mm. So let's talk about the, uh, the rivalry. Let's talk about the aspect of, um, of rivalry because I don't know if we really, really got into how um, the 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 black versus white, Celtics versus Lakers, um, Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson, how polarizing that argument and that dynamic is. And it's actually good for sports. I'm not talking about being necessarily racist and spitting on people's wives and 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 that sort of thing. But I'm saying mm. the rivalry that splits America down the middle, you know, the black contingent, the white contingent, or the all American contingent. And then the, the, you know, rebellious, whatever you want to put it, man. D do you think that they playing that up S with, uh, Caitlin and, um, Angel? Well, do you think that that's well, part you, of it? I, I mean, I think they're, they're building on it. I mean, it's, it, it's drawing attention, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, it's clickbait. And, and, and they're trying to build the popularity of other women's sport up. And they're trying to, you know, kind of mimic some of the things that, that the men do. You get a rivalry that draws more attention. Now you got more people coming to see because this team is this team. That team is that team. They they kind of, uh, you know, build a, a, a LSU as a as a uh, as a villain and villainize, you know, uh, 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 Angel Reese as a villain. But they've also fed into it. And I can't make you a villain and all you do is come in hoop. You know, if you're not if you're not saying nothing, Dave, I can't make you a villain, no matter what. Right, right. But if 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 I if if, if I if I catch a a clickbait of you saying something, and then you talking trash, and the next person's mm -hmm. talking trash to your team, 
okay, this villain thing is starting to, it's starting to work. It's, we're starting to get traction on it. Okay, now you, you next game you're talking trash to this team, and, and then we see how you talk on the court, and okay, I, I can snowball this because you are – you are painting the picture for us, and we just okay. They're the villains, you know. I, I, you 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 made that possible. But if, if you just go out there just hooping, and you being you playing hard and playing physical, and you know, uh, and hey, good game, you know, and, and, and go watch the business. Man, they not villains. I can't, you know. But when you talk your trash, mm -hmm. I got that's where you are. So you make yourself a villain, or you make yourself a target. To be called yeah. a, a villain. Yeah, I, I can't. Yeah, but, I, I can't. I can't do it on my own. Go ahead, Michelle. I, yeah, but once you proclaim yourself to be one, now you're going to have to deliver. I mean, one thing is for people to make you the villain, especially the op, you know the opposition, the other team, the other side, because that's what keeps the game interesting, right? We we villainize. Yeah. We make them like these are the material. These are the bad guys. But once you put it on you, I feel that like you have to deliver in that. I feel that it's more like putting the social media noose on your neck. Yeah, yeah. It's like the same thing I was saying with Westbrook. Westbrook sits there and talks all the trash in the world, but when he doesn't deliver, it's like now he wants to play the victim. Mm-hmm. Now, you, now know, you can't play the victim. Yeah, no, 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 bro. You, you, you sit there and, and you talk trash to people on a regular. Now you hitting the side of the backboard and people are talking trash to you. <laughs> now, right. no, you can't sit here and... You can't tell me how to talk trash back. Mm. Now when you've been talking trash, you can't you you can't dictate that. You know, now now you now as far as them talking trash to their kids at the game, to their mo mothers and girlfriends and parents or whatever, now I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's cool. No, but as that's, far as the, the as far as the player and what mm. they you know, hey, you talking trash. You telling the fans to yeah. F up. What they go? What they both sit there and say? Okay, no, that's part of the that's part of the the, the whole thing. We're gonna go at it. But I I, I can't paint you a, a villain and you sitting there just smiling, and then you out there just mm -hmm. as nice as possible. I can't paint you as the villain. But if you out mm -hmm. there shooting elbows to people, like uh, matter of fact, Angel Reese, here it goes. She's she's grabbing the girl's hair. Mm. Whoa, you're not a villain. You know, I, it's funny. Uh, Charles Oakley would say, Isaiah is always talking about, you know, he's this and that. He ain't do nothing, but he's always doing something. Right. Yeah. I, I, hey, you, you sitting there saying, I'm not, but Angel Reese says, hey, I, I'll be that. But she's out there doing things to say, hey, she is that. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. not, and, and be honest with you, I'm not, hey, I'm, I'm not mad at her, her on how she plays. I don't think she well the grabbing the hair that's a little dirty. It wasn't, a, it, it, but it wasn't a way she she didn't do it in a sense that she hurt somebody. She's a girl walked by and she just grabbed her hair, you know, jerked her on her hair, or whatever. It is. That's just some little. I'm, I'm just getting up on your skin. It's not like she's in the hair in the air going to shoot a layup and she's you know grabbing her hair while she's in the air. It's nothing. It wasn't nothing dirty like that. So she's not a dirty player in, in that sense. You know, Draymond mm -hmm. Green, as y'all said, he does some dirty shit. He crawl. He he's straddling that fence every time he's on the floor. Mm. You can't sit mm. here and say, "Well, you know, I'm not the guy you guys paint me to be." No, you are just the guy. Yeah. Uh, I want to share another another, uh, another screen. Did you guys know that Angel Reese um, has uh, done something important? She's the first Reebok athlete under Shaq and Iverson. If I'm not mistaken, Shaq is the president of. Uh, yeah. Like like marketing or something like that over at uh over at Reebok, and I, yeah. Alan Iverson also we know as a Reebok uh, lifelong uh, endorsee and all mm -hmm. of that. Um, and they they're like the president and VP of of marketing over there, man, of basketball. Mm -hmm. So yeah. she's the first uh, Reebok athlete under Shaq. This is huge for her to be not a male athlete but a female athlete and getting a deal. This is absolutely tremendous. And I commend her for that. Um, 100%. People may be hating on her because of that. Uh, Sophie, I, Sophie, look at you, Sophie. Are you with us or are you texting your boo? What you doing? You want to mute, Sophie? I'm mute. You got to unmute yourself, Sophie. Uh, it's not It's not unmuting for some reason. You got to unmute, Sophie. 
You're not on. You're not. Um, there, <laughs> there you go. go. After the party, it's the after party with days. After- like- <laughs> I know how you do. So it is eleven fifty nine Atlanta. Oh, oh. Lady, I've been sipping. Uh-oh. I know you guys do. I'm not gonna fall for the bait. I know how. And this one right here, S. He can. He, he got all the receipts. He knows all the history. Mm. I'm not gonna fall. I, I have. To, I have to do this and. How it go? <laughs> 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 it, it, no, I, I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it night. I'm gonna go like this. How about this? That is very mm. tough. Night, 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 night. Okay. Yeah. So you're telling me that we you gotta you gotta head out a little bit. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Okay. So Sophie got to go. Uh. S and me and Michelle. We still rocking, but. Before before everybody starts to clear out, because look, I, I you know what I did a two minute, well maybe it's more like a three minute intermission. Everybody, bam, no longer bam, than that, guys. Everybody left. Yeah, it, 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 it was longer than that. Hey, yeah. the girl, the, the girls yeah. was power wild. Yeah, we <laughs> work in the morning. Oh shoot! Okay, I didn't We're know not, it was. Uh, we don't have endorsements like a twenty one year old um, young lady, Angel. you know, who <laughs> is sad about losing a game I'm, I'm, for hobby for her million dollar game. We, we got to go to work. <laughs> I got to go to work. Right. We got to rewrite. So, uh, you really going to get it. And I'm seeing eggplants so, in my DM. So, <laughs> oh, wow. What's going on in life? Like, oh, wow. hey, Angel, Angel did, um, announce that she's going to the NBA, the WNBA. And I'll go ahead and play that clip here. And she announced it through Vogue. So today we're going to be announcing that I'll be answering the WNBA draft. I had a great time. My last two years here at LSU has been amazing. Winning the national championship, all the things that have come with winning a championship, being named by you Barbie and breaking records and having fun with my amazing teammates. But I think it's my time to move on and grow. Um, it's in a very competitive league and I'm excited to just learn, grow and try to dominate as much as I can as a rookie. Hey Vogue, today we're going to right. I was surprised uh, that she did it with through Vogue, but the thing is, I mean, she's a bona fide star. Angel like Reese bounced back. She's bounced back yeah, fast. Like, right, right, right. Like, like, she bounced back like a round ball. <laughs> right, right. She, in other words, there was no more tears. But, but you got to But you know what? Though she is twenty one. She's a young lady. Um, she's Absolutely. got um, millions of dollars in endorsements. When college kids were not allowed to do that. Um, she's unapologetically herself, as she said, um, and she was the Bayou Barbie. She brought a lot of swag, you know, to the game of women's basketball. And let's be honest, you know, she's a good looking young lady and she has a nice figure and she's able to flaunt it. She's six mm-hmm. foot three, y'all. And all mm-hmm. since this is a word. She's Amazon built like that. That girl bad. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead. And- <laughs> Not mad at it. Not mad at it. So, um, so we're gonna close it out here. We're gonna go round table. We'll start with Sophie, that girl, since Sophie gotta go. Um, Angel Reese, did she is she a hero or a villain or neither? She's a self proclaimed villain, so I'm gonna go with that. And I feel like um, she doesn't have enough villain attributes to really hold that title or or hold the championship for that matter. Mm. So mm. villains normally if you look think about Batman and Batman and the Joker, they're always laughing. They're always I'll get you next time. They're always the happy ones. It's usually the hero that's kind of like stressed and be like, you know, if you look at every villain Joker, they're always laughing. It don't bother them. They don't care what you say about them. They don't care. When you start King, I think somebody had mentioned that it just shows that you're not truly a villain. And just because somebody puts a plate of food in front of you does not mean that you have to. I, I as a, a my friend, his name is Ayuk, and he's from Africa, and he likes to say, Miss Sophia, I wear my suit according to my size. You know, the shoe don't fit, Angel. It didn't fit. A villain ain't gonna be up there crying. Like if it was like gangster world, they gangsters don't be like crying because he got shot. They're like, ah, I took a hit. So you gotta choose your battles. And hopefully it's a good learning lesson for her as she grows because she's still young. So I'm still wanting to give her room, but just because someone's labeling you as something, they, they labeled you an a, a the, the N-word or a B. Are you gonna say, Oh, I'm a B? Because they call you a slut, so now you're gonna go into a slut walk. 
Like just because someone calls you something does not mean that you have to to try and um, bring it upon yourself to make it positive. Some words are negative because they're negative and they're not nice. And there's no reason for anyone to be mean and you have to try to make it better. A villain is a villain is a villain. And someone's and in someone's um everyone's story, I may be the villain and I'm okay with that. But I'm not gonna start acting like a villain and say that I'm being villainized and all of that. And that's all I gotta say. All right. All right, Sophie. Hey, we appreciate you, Sophie. Thank you, girl. Sophie, we will see you next week. I appreciate it, Sophie. All right, uh, let's 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 go to S. Let's go to S. S. Divine is Angel Reese a villain or a hero mm. or what's that? What, what was that thing in Batman? You say so, you, something about you stay long enough to be the hero. If you stay long enough, you be the, you be the villain. Or something yeah, to yeah. that effect. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he said if you live long enough, uh, you'll become the villain. Yeah. Uh, be honest with you, she plays with a chip and. She talks her talk. She's come from she comes from a background where that's what they get down. And, you know, the the, the, the media, I think the media kind of, you know, everybody else doesn't. The media kind of, you know, probably hinted at it and she she ran with it. And it's whether she is or isn't. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say this because I've seen her play a few times. Yes, she's an antagonist. She's that she's she's that person. and she's doing it in a way that it fits and suits her now i think they caught her in emotion it caught her in an emotional moment be honest with you because as you see she bounced back real fast and she's enjoying her life he's he said i wouldn't change anything so not like she's not, not like she came back and said i would change this you know if i knew that, that this behavior or how i talk or the things i did on the court would uh would, would um would make people call me a villain or make people who call me this or that then i would change it no she uh, she's said i am who i am and you got to believe somebody when they say they who they are and yeah and i wish her much much success and i think like i said i, I think what she is is great for the wnba uh mm -hmm. she's great she was great for college basketball uh moving mm -hmm. forward as she goes forward i think that fan base is gonna gravitate to whatever city she goes to, and it's gonna help mm -hmm. the the revenue of the WNBA, along with Caitlin Clark uh, and the other girls that are that are are, are doing their thing in, in the WNBA. And my boy right. was, you know, it was it was kind of his mission getting in girls basketball and doing and doing his thing in girls basketball. And I think, you know, you know, unfortunately, his death, we're seeing you know, it, it, it come to fruition. We're seeing girls basketball start to elevate. We're, I, I know, yeah. more girl, know more about girls basketball and the players in girls basketball than I know about the, uh, the NCAA men's basketball. I, don't, I, yeah, I, couldn't name I, one, I couldn't name one player in the, w, in the NCAA tournament right now. Matter of yeah. fact, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the, big, the big kid from um, NC State because they're starting to promote him a lot more. Other than that, I couldn't tell you who's who. And not saying that's a good thing, but I think it's a great thing that the that the is that the girls um tournament is getting all the exposure that it's getting. And she is one of the major reasons that it's getting that exposure. So you're right. Her if, her and if, the way she played playing with a chip. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So if, if if what she's doing is got people calling her a villain and it's got her in, in the position where she is, then hey, so I salute her. Hey, I'm looking forward to watching her play next year in the WNBA. And I think it's going to be great. La last uh, question for you, S. Um, is Caitlin Clark and and Angel Reese going to continue the rivalry in the WNBA? I think they should. That's great marketing. I, no, no. It, it's, it's, they're going to be, be forever attached to each other. Yeah, like because, Matthew Bird. Yes, they're going to be forever attached to each other because of the situation. And the great part about it is they don't have a situation. They're, the media has a situation they're trying to put together. Mm -hmm. But the rivalry, mm -hmm. of course, I mean, it, once you play against somebody and it, it, you, you lose, you win, that's the right. That's a rival. That's what we call a rival. Yeah. And I think is that's going to be great for the WNBA because once you start getting heated rivalries, then you start getting people want to pay attention to what's going on. Right. Okay. Now you got viewership. Now you got sponsorship. Now the money goes up right. for, for, for the league. 
the money will be, right. be good for for them, them, them young ladies. Angel Reese will benefit. She'll be she'll be the face of it. She, I mean, she 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 she's doing great. I'm not mad yeah. at her. Okay. All right, my man Estevan, I appreciate you, S. I see appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, people, man. Always, though. Hi, yes, yeah, sir, brother. Appreciate you. All right, All right. and then there was Michelle. Hey. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I appreciate you. I know, I know, I know that um, you had to do some research and look at some links and yeah. everything. Um, but I'll, I'll give you your uh, your monologue moment. I mean, um, I, talk I, to me. I think it could be anyone, honestly. I mean, not necessarily just this girl. It could be any other athlete, any other actor, actress, anybody that is a public figure, we're always going to do the witch hunt. We're always going to, you know, put the noose. Um, I don't think, I cannot say that she's a hero or a villain just yet. She's too young. She needs to pay her dues a little bit more, I think, especially if she's going to go to the big leagues, you know, and she needs to realize everything comes with the territory. You have to be very mature. You have to grow up take ownership of the things that you do you know if you're going to be sexualized well if you're if you're posing like that yeah there's going to be some creeps out there there's everything in this world and you have to realize that and you have to take it with the whole you know the whole package with fame and i i hope that she whatever she turns out to be she owns it and she she does very well with it i mean i cannot wish anything bad to people that decide to do something like this, it takes a lot of balls, no pun intended with basketball, but to to be <laughs> out there and to be famous. So yeah, I don't know, definitely. dude, like I, it's, it's, it happens in every industry. I have the same thing in my industry. I mean, I'm, I'm that kind of bartender that I educate myself. I have my very strong opinions and some people like me, some people don't. And does that make me a villain? Yeah. I think it's a matter of perspective. Yeah, so, yeah. Just don't no, it. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. And, and I do think a great point was made. Maybe it was, uh, maybe it was Drew, maybe it was S, but some, mm -hmm. someone said that, uh, she really don't want to be the villain. Maybe it was yeah. Al, you know, she, maybe she she's really, just saying it she, to please people or, or to uh, defend herself from the public criticism. Right. Right. Because they really did. Listen, I, I ain't gonna lie. And I'm not making it a white or black thing. Uh, if you go back and look up the clips, the white journalist, when she did the "You Can't See Me" and and taunted her and said, "Look, I got a ring," they really went out went in on Angel, and they were like, "Oh, Angel's, uh, you know, yeah. a thug." They all, all the superlatives you can use, right? Yeah, they they, they use them. You cannot take some gestures that seriously, honestly. Yeah, I mean, right. as long as you're not doing the Nazi salute, I'm cool. Do whatever you need to do, and then the rest is exactly. up to them personally. And the and the and the worst part about it is Caitlyn had been doing that to other teams herself. So when the white person does it, it's okay. But when a black person does it, it it's not. And um and even Stephen A. Smith and other prominent uh black sports journalists, they spoke out about it and said she's not being treated fairly. Mm -hmm. And it was a big deal, you know. Uh, and so this yeah. year, so this year, so that was last year. Angel won, you know, the championship with LSU. Now, this year, Angel and LSU get to the Final Four. Caitlin and Iowa will get to the Final Four. And Caitlin spanked them. Let me tell you, Caitlin dropped 41 on them girls. 41 points and something like 12 rebounds. Yeah. Angel, Angel, or 12 assists or whatever. Angel had like 17 points, or no, 12 points and 20 rebounds. So Angel's a different type of player. She's not going to be shooting from threes and all of that inside player. Mm -hmm. So she, you know, so she had a decent game. But Caitlin burned them girls. And and everybody's like, oh, see, oh, see. And then, you know, Angel is crying at the end of the game. And yeah. then she's like, I've been beat up by so many people in sexual. And everybody's like, oh, don't whine now because you lost. Everybody was like, oh, you was doing this last year. What happened? You can't yeah. see what, what you see. They were messing with her. And so I wanted to bring that out because it is important. If you can dish it, you got to be able to take it. If you're going to go out yeah. there and 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 flex on people and brag, you got to be able to take it. So, you know, but this yeah. was a lively conversation. How did you feel? Good good episode tonight? It was great. Great. I love it. Cool. I'm glad I made well, look, it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you came and uh, I'm glad 
Uh, I'll try to get the research uh, topics out sooner so guys can have more time <laughs> to, to review. Yeah. And I was I, I got a little bit of feedback. They said, hey, why don't you let us know earlier? Sometimes I'm not even yeah. sure what we're talking about until I, the day I, of. I so. know your, your job is very demanding. All those yeah, meetings. demanding job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Hey, I appreciate you, Michelle. We'll talk to you next week, okay? Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. All right. That's Michelle. That's Michelle. Yeah. The Femme Fatale, Michelle. You guys, uh, it's been a really, really, really good conversation uh, today. We talked about um, Angel Reese. Um, man, it, just great conversation. Angel Reese, um, hero or villain. Uh, next time, you guys that weren't able to make it to the stage, I want you guys to, to hit me up and uh, find out what time we're going live. Uh, and let me know if you want to be on the stage. I can let you guys uh, know sooner than later. All right. We try to get people on. Um, that, are, that have prepared and looked at everything. All right, cool. Man, I appreciate everybody, everybody for joining. All of my people that are on YouTube, um, please make sure to subscribe. And all of my people uh, that are on Facebook, make sure you also subscribe and follow on YouTube. It's so important that you guys send this live to people. It's so important that you give me the hearts on YouTube. Let me see some hearts. Let me see some hearts. Hit me up with the hearts. Hit me with a bunch of hearts. Hit me with some likes. You can put hearts in the comments. You can flame it up. I want you to make sure that you're always adding comments. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you forward this to people. Share it, okay? It's super important because that is going to help the algorithm recognize that Dave Life After Dark is in the building. It's the After Dark podcast featuring your host, Dave Life. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all. You could have been anywhere in the world, world but you're here with us tonight, man. Please make sure that you support Hit us on Cash App at Dollar Sign Dave Life TV. Hit us on Venmo at Dave Life. Send us a couple tips, man. We appreciate it. I will distribute it accordingly. And uh, yeah, keep it locked to your favorite late night adult podcast. All right, man. I appreciate y'all. It's Dave Life at the dark.